Hello, hello. How goes it? How goes it now? Hello, hello. Good afternoon. Good morning. How's everyone doing? Uh, so, <clears throat> hello, everybody. Quick little disclaimer. I'm still a little bit sick. So, nearly at the end of it now, but I wanted to go live. Moving on, on an impromptu stream, I guess. Let me know if you guys can hear me okay. We all coming through. Or oh, you're working as elite. How you doing, Jamsters? Right. Are we all good? Yay. Hi, friends. How are you all doing? Sound clear? Awesome. I'm glad to hear it. I apologize, by the way. I'll be frequenting these for the stream because my nose is a bit blocked. Um, I have a bit of a cough as well, so I apologize. I will be drinking plenty of water today. I ain't, uh, I ain't gonna get sick again. So. Ugh. I apologize. If I get blow my nose and all that at the stream. <clears throat> How's everyone doing? By the way, guys, if you're jumping in, hit the like button. You know, it's free. And so, yeah. Oh, you got a minute. Let me, um. Oh, you're eating, Michael. How you doing? Right. I think we're set. We're good. How you doing, Paul? I'm doing good. I am a bit sick still. So, there's a pinned message just to say, like, I apologize for the grossness. Um, I will be blowing my nose and drinking water and maybe coughing occasionally. Um, thank you, Doc. I appreciate that. It's a, it is a 4K camera. It's probably scaled down a lot. Um, I've got a high bitrate as well. My bitrate's like 12K for this 1080 stream. Ocean, how you doing? I see streaming. Nice to see you in chat. How you doing? Again, I'm sick again. Just going to let you know. Just gonna blanket statement now. I'm sick. I'm feeling like crap still. No, 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 actually, I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling about 85, 90, but my throat and my nose just make it, you know. <clears throat> Thank you guys for the uh, well wishes as well. Um, today's stream is gonna be fun, right? It's gonna be a long stream. If you, can stop, if you can't stay for all of it, understandable, there will be a VOD. There will always be VODs on the channel, on the live tab. Whenever you want to go, and you want to see a live stream or check a live stream out, you can always do that. But today, we're going to be doing uh, some very cheeky YouTube stuff. So, um, I usually used to do this on Twitch an awful lot. Uh, but I recently started decided I want to move these to YouTube. Um, maybe once a month. Add an additional live stream to my roster. Uh, let me I do two a month. Um, I want to start increasing that to maybe like three a month, potentially. Um, but I want to do a stream where I make my own thumbnails for my videos and work on producing and writing my videos. As well as doing the channel reviews and the... Um, either like something for the community. So I do like a wide commu two community streams and two personal youtube streams for my own content and you can ask me questions see how i do things yada yada, yada that kind of stuff you know what i mean um is it mauricio am i saying that correctly mauricio mauricio it's honestly maurice am i saying i'm saying that correctly i hope i am um that's what i want to do and so today's stream is going to be focused on 
me working because i make i write videos i work on this stuff all the time i'm working on videos all the time and i think it's a valuable process that seeing how somebody else works might inspire you might get, make you think oh wow i can do that for my videos as well so i want to work on one video today that was going to be a video that um i basically made was going to make before i got sick but i, I had filmed it and started editing it and i didn't like the direction of it and i had a uh i was working i was i've been, I've been sick and i was yesterday i was uh thinking about how to make the video different in a way that would make me happy to film it you know like because <clears throat> i don't want to be i, I want to be always be making new steps in my stuff i don't want to be doing the same old sitting down talking to the camera reading from a script yada 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 you know that kind of stuff right and um the uh the idea came to me yesterday while i was was it yesterday yes it was yesterday uh after i've been f trying to figure it out for a while and i was like holy crap this could work um is it a great idea i need to buy a prop for the video but um i'm very uh very happy with that. So that's the video we're gonna work on today <clears throat> shot my shot yesterday with some girl who could be my soulmate but your boy flopped wow you hate to see it man hate to see it dude there's always more fish in the sea as i say as the saying goes <clears throat> so today we're doing that we're gonna be working on that video we may be jumping onto the ipad i'm quite a visual person so i like to draw stuff um and i can get my screen up so i can kind of show you that how that works you haven't got to use an ipad you can use pen and paper as well but the ipad shows you guys what i'm doing so it makes sense um but yeah i'm gonna be doing that today so yeah um and the idea there we go that's some chewing gum I wanted to get rid of <clears throat> the idea is going to be called the the tentative name that I have right now is called seven editing hacks that will save you time which I think is a pretty interesting title at least for right now um that will probably change luckily enough I've already designed the thumbnail for this let me get to affinity designer oh, got a photo I want designer Uh, uh we'll quit you quit you oh yes and quit you did i quit design it no there it is so looking number seven kind of thing yeah like that kind of deal so where is the let's find it i will share my screen in just a second as well it might be an infinity photo Hmm. <coughs> oh, that was designer. It was a designer document. Okay. So let me show you what I made for this video. Sorry. Ugh. So it was going to be about making videos faster and i just wasn't happy overall this is not the right one is it oh i know where it is i know where i moved the new one to the new one's in here in chitch i'm a dum dum that's not it Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Okay, there we go. This is the old one. Okay, 
So was, this is the one that I did. So I'm probably going to change this to be like seven. Which looks kind of pretty. It's kind of nice there as well. <clears throat> and the idea was about making videos faster. About making videos a bit more, um, a bit quicker. And tools to make videos quicker. But I just wasn't feeling the 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 narrative was i wasn't feeling this the the video because for one it was very short and two i was like i wanted to make something that had a bit more um presence a bit more story a bit more narrative it was a bit more fun to make as i sat down recorded the video and i was just like this feels it felt it felt really low effort you know what i mean Yes, they will, they will always be available as a VOD, Mark. If they aren't, I will let you know. I will, well, you won't know. It just won't be available. But, I wanted to, um, kind of like, but I think I could reuse this thumbnail. So here's, here's the story. So I came up with the story for the video, right? The story is this. Who here in the UK? Is anyone here in the UK watching right now? <clears throat> There's probably a few people from in the UK. I know James, I think James is. Uh, I don't know if James is old enough to know what I'm going to reference in a minute. Um, there's a, there's a, um, there's a, an old TV show <coughs> from back in the day called Bernard's Watch. If anyone remembers what Bernard's Watch is. It was a TV show where this kid had a pocket watch and he could freeze time and i think you could like reverse it a bit as well um is there a free version of this app no no there isn't no it's affinity photo an affinity designer i recommend getting them they're not free but they're worth the money um and it's one time purchase as well so yeah bernard's watch and i was like <clears throat> i was sitting down so okay weirdly enough weirdly enough i was i was listening to I was listening to because I'd read somewhere that brown noise, you know how like you have white noise and pink noise and, and all that different frequencies of like of like static noise. Uh, brown noise is apparently really, really good. One, if you're struggling to go to the bathroom, apparently. And two, if you suffer with a lot of like overactive, you know, ADHD, ADD kind of situational, you know, your brain is can't focus on one thing. Apparently brown noise is very good for helping you focus. So I was like, okay, I'm going to give it a go, right? And this is once, right? And it worked. I actually felt quiet in my head for a bit. I did it again yesterday. Uh, I was listening to Brown Noise, just trying to think of like a story. And the word, it was create more videos in less time. The word time hit me like a brick. I was like, wait a minute. Why don't I do a video <coughs> where I... It's an editing hacks video, but I travel forward and backwards in time to moments in my life where the where I could pull the tip from and show people where it became useful in my life as an editor. I was like, okay, that could work. What if I changed it though to where there's was a, was a few more stakes, a bit more like imaginary stakes? What if I'm trying to think of I'm trying to think of the narrative as well where I have this watch that can travel, send me back and forth in time. And I want to see what it's like in the future with YouTube and AI and all that fun stuff, right? I push the button to go forward in time, but I go into a different dimension. I go to a different timeline, an alternative timeline, where <clears throat> I don't become the editor I am today, where I'm super slow, I'm non-efficient, and I need to basically... Um, I, I'm super slow at doing what I'm doing. Essentially, I become like, like I like I'm like re a really bad editor, right? And so what I do is I I go backwards in time to prevent that from happening, and I go through different points in my life and I change history to influence the the past me to have like oh wow what's this tool where's this tool come from what's this you know that kind of thing. So I, I basically like do a bit of like a, a Christmas Carol slash Quantum Leap style thing where I'm, you know, I'm leaping back in my own timeline to change the past to make the video the way that I want to make it basically to make to make to, to basically correct what what went what went wrong 
with my timeline and i had that idea yesterday and i was like that sounds like a really fun video to make and it sounds like something that would give a lot of be a lot of fun to for people to watch how how i'm presenting these tools to make editing faster for people and i've presented it in a story and i'm like okay i really like that idea let's roll with it so today we're, we're gonna be working on that video hey doing zip oh my chewing gum nearly went over my entire desk <coughs> essentially like that but I, i'm gonna be picking up the, the a like a pocket watch i'm gonna find like a cheap pocket watch on amazon i'm gonna use that as like a prop which kind of ties in nice because i'm a doctor who fan right and so i was thinking of using the doctor who stop uh, pocket watch as like a you know kind of thing And using that effect. Is it, is it, what, what do people think about that story, that narrative? I'm quite like proud of it. And so I want to work on it today. I'm probably going to be more using the iPad today to create the timeline of what's going to happen. To visualize where the direction is. So you guys can kind of go, oh, that's what happens. Benton is the elite watch out of them all. Okay, dude. <laughs> we're not we're talking about watches here. you know what my favorite watch is actually it's the watch from spy kids where it does everything but tell the time maybe the pocket watch is broken then maybe that's how it's faulty and it sends me to a different dimension a different timeline i'm like oh crap what's happened you know that might be the like the the cause. So we're going to jump on the iPad, and I think we're going to do that. Need a DeLorean? Mm, I'd rather have a TARDIS, to be honest with you. DeLoreans are, are are cool, aesthetically, but the best time machine ever is well, the best the best spaceship in science fiction ever has to be the TARDIS, and you can't you can't argue with me on that one because there's no. There is no other ship like the, like the TARDIS. <clears throat> Stewie's time machine? Nah, man. Nah, I can't. can't. I can't say that. It's bigger on the inside. The, once if the comedian circuit works, you know, it can be anything. You can make the TARDIS look like any ship in the in in the world, you know. <clears throat> <clears throat> because of the comedian circuit it's got it's a, it's a spaceship and a time ship so it's the best ship in sci-fi i'm sorry it will it will beat even the millennium falcon i'm, I'm putting it on record there you know even star, star trek ships i think things are right i love the aesthetic of 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 ships my favorite ship ever is boba's ship um from uh, slave one from star wars love that ship probably, probably my favorite ship from star wars is, is slave one um second favorite is probably Millennium falcon i really love the uh, tie fighters then it's the x-wings and all that stuff um the silver crest from mandalorian is really nice i don't know what the what's his new what's the new one Spoilers, by the way. What's the what's the one he he gets? Hey, Shrew, how's it going, dude? <clears throat> so, what we can do actually is before we jump into that, let's jump into maybe grab some titles and thumbnails. We have a thumbnail. I mean, I'm gonna lie to you, chat. This thumbnail is still applicable, right? This is still applicable. Seven hacks. Uh, oh, Shrew, have I told you about my idea? By the way, I don't know if you were here when I was talking about it, but I want to um. It's a heavily modern Naboo photo, but I don't know if it has a, like a name like Silvercrest or, you know, Razorcrest, sorry, not Silvercrest. Razorcrest is the is the name of the, the old ship. Okay. So you know that video that I was working on, which was the five ways to create more videos faster? Or five ways to make videos faster? I've scrapped that because I, I wasn't happy with the... One, the idea felt really lame in general. And two, the 
the, the way I was delivering it, I felt like it could be better. And I wanted to take, I thought the content or the, the premise, the idea itself was like, okay, we could maybe like mold it more to my wheelhouse and what I'm talking about, what the direction I want to go in. So I kind of let it stew for a while. And I was like, okay, right, I want to, I want to figure out this idea. And I got sick and I kind of delayed it. But yesterday I was, I was chilling out and I was just trying to get better. And I was just listening to some, like, I was, I heard things about brown noise, how brown noise can help you focus. Um, I, I used it before to focus on some projects. I was like, okay, you know, what? I'm going to do it again and, and see what it's like, you know. <clears throat> so I did that with my, with, with, with this. And I sat down for half an hour. And I just, I just laid back and let the, let, let, the, let the noise kind of just fill my head for a bit. I was like, right, okay, I've got to focus on this video. And I read the title. I read the title, which was going to be... So I changed the title name. Because I felt like seven editing hacks that will save you time felt more appropriate. Like the editing hacks feels more, you know... Yeah, you were you were on loop in my uh, on my YouTube channel. <laughs> True. Um, and so... Anything actually will save you time. I just sat there and I was like, I, I leaned back and I was just relaxing. And I, the word time hit me. And I remember the thumbnail that I designed. And I was like, th th this thumbnail here. All right. And I was like, wait a minute. Time. Could I, could I play with that? And I was like, why don't I do a thing where I have a stopwatch or a pocket watch that gives me the ability to travel in time? And so what I do at the start of my story, because I figured out the story narrative now for this video, and I was like, hey, this pocket watch allows me to travel in time, right? I want to go forward in time to see what editing's like in the future. If, you know, how faster I've gotten, or if AI becomes a thing, you know, that's like more popular or whatever. I use the pocket watch and I go to, for, I go to instead of going forward in time, it's a broken pocket watch as well. But we'll, we'll contextualize that. Instead of sending me forward in time, it sends me to another timeline, to an alternative timeline. In that alternative timeline, I, I'm not the editor that I am today. I'm a different person. Um, I'm editing until four in the morning, being super slow, like I, I don't know any keyboard shortcuts. I'm taking so long to edit with the mouse. And I make a comedy sketch out of it, right? And I'm like, well, what the hell's going on? Like, something must have happened. Like, where did this happen? And so... I use the pocket watch to go back in time to prevent the future on this timeline from happening. And I use, and I plant seven tools throughout my timeline that allow me to edit faster. And those are the ones that I'm talking about in the video. Like seven things that have helped me become faster. I'll plant them throughout the video, throughout, throughout the timeline. And then the, the finale is I go back, I go forward again. And I see what's what the future's like after I've done it, you know. It's a bit like a, um, uh, a ghost of Christmas past kind of thing where the watch doesn't let them see me so I can go back in time but no one can see me, right? <coughs> Pretty much. And I was like, this feels like a really fun idea to make. This feels like it's going to take me a little bit of time to make it, but man, it's going to be fun to do, you know? I'm gonna, I'm gonna really enjoy making this one and that was the first thing that hit me when i came with the idea i was like yeah for because two things one it'd be fun for me to make actually a few things one would be fun for me to make two it'd be fun for people to watch right it's gonna be different it's not gonna be like a, a normal boring talking head video i'm gonna have a bit of drama or a couple of time travel sequences in there i'm gonna have some vfx and some you know some little bits of narrative and some you know actual things but it's also going to make it a bit more retention wise. People are going to watch it for longer because there's a narrative. It's like, what's going on? Like every time, every time I go back forward and check to see if the future's changed it and it hasn't changed. I go back in time, I do it again, you know, and I keep reiterating like it's no good. There's no, there's, but there's one more tool that will seal the deal, run back in time, fix it, you know, that kind of thing. And I was like, that's it. That's the story. That is the narrative. But, but, while I've been talking, I've had a thought, right? Do you think this video would be better, right? Calling it, <coughs> instead, of, instead of like, um, seven editing acts that will save you time, right? 
instead of seven editing acts will save you time what if i change the angle just a little bit right or i still deliver five edits or seven editing tools in the video right but i angle it as mistakes right so i could want it seven editing mistakes that cost me time when i started that kind of thing you know or editing mistakes that cost me time anyway steven have a great day thanks for all the work dude thank you so much for popping in i appreciate you being here thank you like do i change th 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 that angle do i change that perspective because while i think the editing hacks is cool mistakes feel like a they're a much more clickable process aren't they they're much more engaging they're like oh mistakes i don't want to be doing these right and the narrative is me i've got this pocket watch i'm gonna go forward in time to see how well i don't know let's see the timeline's broken these are all editing mistakes that i used to do back when i first started but what's happened here you know <clears throat> i have no idea jam so that's the first time i've heard of it is you mentioning that yeah exactly where i open the video being all fast and happy mistakes are more clickable you think so and then i go back in time and i'm like well, i need to fix this mistake with this i used to use this tool to do this particular thing you can you know do all that and then i go forward again another mistake what's he doing now like he's doing this like he's made, he's, he's doing the wrong thing like i need to fix this and like so i had this idea of like i had this idea oh my god i don't know how i'm gonna do it in my head i would love to do this i'd love to be able to like pull me back in the um in this in the shots and go i need to move it from the desk and so i push myself and i'm but like i'm, I'm frozen in time i'm like this and i go like that <laughs> like on the shot i don't know but it's me pushing me and, I, and I, it would be very it's gonna be very interesting to do that so like visually i'm i'm thinking of ways to make the shots and the visuals interesting i think editing mistakes that cost me time when i started is going to be i think that is a much more because it can i had another idea which is 10 editing mistakes to avoid and it's like i'm going to be covering the similar information in both so why don't i combine them to be like you know seven seven things that will will will, will cost you time as an editor kind of thing <coughs> so let's have a look at kind of building that up then as like our as our narrative do we do we agree with that do we think mistakes are probably going to be more on 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 the ball there on the money like who would want to watch here's the thing right think of it from from your perspective as well chat as a viewer right would you rather see a video where I talk about the mistakes that I did as an editor and the tools that I used to fix those mistakes or get or avoid them or just give you a list of tools that you, help you become a better editor? If I present the problem, then the solution, I think that feels more like, oh, okay, he's actually gone back. He's actually, you know, showing what he used to do wrong. And he's like, oh, wow, he used to do this. I do this all the time. Oh, crap. This tool fixes that problem, that kind of thing. Like, that's the, that's kind of the narrative in my head of how I'm presenting, presenting that to myself. <coughs> I apologize for the coughing. I'm still sick. Um, Related to and apply it. Yeah, I agree. Let me um I'll move it in a second. Hey dear regeneration nation. What should I what should we do here? So what's the date today? It's the twentieth. Sorry, I just realized that it's twenty oh two twenty three or oh two twenty 23 there was this weird number for me in my head that's 
throw me through a bit of a, a world ride. I'm going to put my iPad on in just a second as well. Uh, so we've got... Uh, we'll, we'll, put, we'll put 7 editing... 7 editing... We'll put hacks... Slash... Okay, if I do this... You guys should... Boom, there we go, look at that! Isn't that fun? Move me down there... So, in fact, I'm going to just tie up my handwriting because it is bad. Okay. <clears throat> What's the plan? I call it. It's called Notion. So, I'm talking about this one. This one here. Yes, yeah, it's called Notion. So, it's um. I just realised. Can I make a new desktop and stream? I think I can. Yeah, Notion. So, like. You'll see it at the top here. Oh, it's, up. it's called N O T I O N. Michael spelled it. I just realized Michael just typed it in chat. Um, cool. I wish I had 10 as like an idea, but I'm not gonna do 10, I don't think. But like the idea of editing mistakes that will save that will cost you time, like mistakes that will stop you from working. Seven editing mistakes that stop me from achieving. Greatness, you know, that kind of thing, that kind of vibe. Yeah, maybe I'm going forward in time to stop myself from making more more mistakes and I go to a different time when I've when I've ruined it or something. Yeah, that kind of thing. I don't know, we've got lots of ideas to play around with. So I actually we're gonna bring up no can I put no show on this side? I don't want to have the video. So the things I had, the kind of tools I had was post haste, multicam. And compound clips, recut, because uh, it's a sponsored video as well. Te using templates, making your own stuff, um, using presets, keyboard shortcuts, building libraries of curators.media. Um, and then I had an eight one in there, which is like, watch this video for more tips. It was like a little funny, cheeky, like. Okay, so let me make a list of all the tools. And I need this open just real quick, so I apologize. That thumbnail, do you think chat, this thumbnail here will still work? Or do you think like it needs more? <sighs> hmm. No, I don't think it's gonna work anymore. I don't think it's gonna work anymore. You know what could work? You see this picture here? Sorry, I just had an idea. I had no idea. I know exactly what I'm going to do with this. So I'm going to take this thumbnail, this side here, the red one. <clears throat> Editing mistakes that you're doing right now. That's a pretty good title there, Noctu. Editing mistakes that you're doing right now. That sounds like a a fun title. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a note of that. We can workshop that. We can workshop that. I don't wanna say seven because I feel like while it might be cool to have it in the list format, it might I don't know, I feel like having seven editing mistakes you're doing right now. Feels like I don't, it feels like it feels like with a seven I'm limiting it. Whereas if I say video editing mistakes you're doing right now, it feels like a open-ended letter is like a this is other things you could be doing wrong as well. 
like it fe like it feels less constrictive does that make sense it feels a bit more like applicable to a wider audience as well for some reason i don't know why that is in my head that it just sounds more like broader which means more people will, will want to click on it so let me make a note of all these things here that i've got here um you have post taste let me make me change the color of these so we have post taste we have multicam plus compound Recut, which is the sponsor. So we need to find a place for that. Hey, Tallest. Wondering if you had any tips for making a showreel. I'm so interested by the idea of making one. What are you making a showreel for? If you is it an editing reel? Is it an editing reel, or is it an edit? Is it a an acting reel? Is it a direct? Is it a cinematography reel? What is it? Because I might surprise you with the answer, depending on what it is. So recut templates. By the way, uh, Tallis, don't apologize for interrupting, man. You're a question. You've got a question. I'll answer it. I'm just sorry if I cough and sneeze and sniffle because I'm still sick. So I apologize. <coughs> and clients are barely able, nearly able to edit full time instead of on the site. Okay. Um, with editing reels, right? Depends on kind of what clients you want to attract. If you're trying to attract people so you can do more videography right more cinematography that kind of thing you do more camera work a cinematography reel right is is, is pretty important because you want to show off the very shots you're getting you want to show off the very cinematography you're doing um a nice kind of montage reel is pretty nice to kind of like compile it break it up by project and put them all you know things together add some lower third to see where things are coming from have a look on youtube for references to that cinematography show reels and look and see what they do right with those with editing reels i'm gonna go on a limb here and say this like quite bluntly i don't know anything more pointless than a video editing reel personally a motion graphics reel that's different but a video editing reel makes no sense in my head because you're re-editing already edited media right so instead of doing a reel what I would do for like a video editing um, portfolio is take a snippet from a really well edited video that you like, right? Something that you're really proud of, something that really kind of shows off your skills of editing, storytelling, sound design, music, pacing, all that stuff, right? Shows, shows off all of your skill sets. Take 30 to 60 seconds of that video, take it out, and then just put that up as a section on your website, on, on, your, on your portfolio page. Just that. And then put in the in, in the description, this is a short project we did, you know, this is kind of showing off the editing, da, 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 right? Do that for like three or four projects, as many as you can find that kind of showcases your best work. That's for editing. Motion graphics do the same thing as cinematography. You want to have flashy, you want to have visuals, you want to show off all the animations you can do, right? <coughs> I apologize. Well, it's editing though, mystery. It's a video editing thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change the Mac thumbnail. I'll, I might just get rid of the laptop. It's, it's meant to be a laptop, right? It's video, it's a video editing thumbnail. And I have an, an idea for this one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get around to that in just a second. I want to kind of fill out this stuff here first. Um, templates, presets. And by the way, tallest. Um, send them a. If they're asking for reels, they don't know what they're looking for. Send them a 
a few examples of your work in an email say so here's a, a link to some editing or here's a portfolio page with everything you need on it here's some motion graphics here's my motion graphics reel here's my cinematography reel here's my here's my video editing snippets right put it only one page and say here's everything you need right this showcases all of my best work music design put some music you know things there you know don't 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 panic and don't be don't stress yourself about it it's just a, it's just a real loot it's a montage reel it's a it's a combination of all your work you've done all the hard work already you're just taking a sh you're just showing it off <coughs> again i'm sorry for coughing Uh, keyboard shortcuts and then You don't know the hard work dude don't panic If you want to check your reel out or anything just tweet me tweet it at me right I'll, I'll see if I find time for it. I can't promise anything but if you want me to kind of like like verify stuff or just kind of look through things i'll do my best you know okay so what we'll do here i have all of the um where is it so i have all of the things listed out here i just copied them over um and what i want to do now is create a timeline visually in my head of what's going to happen because we're dealing with time travel here so i need to <laughs> I need to like visualize in my head what's going on. So I'm going to create a uh, literally a line. Right. So we'll make it maybe make it a bit thicker as well. Let's give it a green. We'll make it purple. Give it black. Right. So this is our timeline, right? Okay. <clears throat> I have to avoid a paradox. Okay, so here's what's going to happen, right? In fact, technically there's, technically, there's two timelines. So I'm going to duplicate this, right? So, so we have. Here we go. So the red one is the bad one, right? The black one is mine. So I start the video off. Like, let me use yellow. Let's do the video off right here, right? And I talk about how this pocket watch is um, going to give me the ability to check the future out, right? So what I do is I leap forward. Let me use blue. I leap forward, but I, I go to this timeline here, right? That's where I go to the end of this one. And I see like, whoa, what the hell happened? You know, like I was aiming for here. But I went to this one. Right? I've down done that, right? So this is now a timeline branch. So it's like, it's like um in um Marvel, there's a timeline branch. So I've now leaped into the timeline branch. I then decided oh, okay, I've got to fix this timeline. So I go back here, right? To the start. Right? That's kind of the, the point of that. Then I'll do let's say I'll go like one two three then i'll leap forward again to check still no um still not changed and then go back again and do one two three four and then i go back and forth and go back in time again to check food has changed everything's fine cool now i push the button and I end the video there. I don't go back. It's it's unsure. It's unclear if I get if I make it back to my timeline, right? But we'll go, and that's the end of the video. It's like if you want to check out this, you know, this video, right? I'll see you over there. And that's and that's it. That's the boom, right? So that's kind of what that is. 
I think I like that idea where it's a bit ambiguous and like the video ends when I like go, whoa, okay. I'm just going to make this a bit tidier, so. So let's make a... You know, the end of in the sky, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's probably what I'll do. I'll do a dash line to show you. I'll then do like an origin point here. Let's change the color. What should we use is like what, what, blue for time travel? That's kind of what happens. I kind of leapfrog through the noise, kind of like that. It's like, whoa, boom, in. Right? I'm then going to duplicate it. And I then decide I need to go back in time here to see what the problem is. Yeah? I then go in and I go, right, we'll do one here, one here, one here. Right? These are all the mistakes I'm fixing. Then we. Then we go and check whether I fixed it. Timeline's still messed up. Doesn't want to do anything, right? We then go in and we go back and we fix one, two, three. How many is it? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So these are all the points in my timeline that I need to fix. Although I could probably space out some of these. Halfway of the video, I need to go forward to check. Timeline's still messed up. Something's still not right. I need to go back again and fix even more? Ugh, fine. <laughs> That's kind of the idea, like, you know. <clears throat> back in time to this moment where this thing happened, where I was like, oh my gosh, I need to fix this as well. And then at the end of the video, it's like a big fat question mark of, you know what happens like he leaps out but it's funny actually you know what's kind of funny actually thinking about this i'm using the word leap does anyone here remember i don't know if anyone here is old enough to know of a show called quantum leap right quantum leap was a show in the 80s and early 90s about a guy called sam who leaps back in time to fix things to make things right that once went wrong it's a fantastic show great show right that show left an impression on me evidently so now i'm using words like leaping back in time i'm literally going to be coming like a quantum leap star funny thing is right one of my friends is called alan so i call him al so we're so we are and he's the one that got me hooked on the show so we are sam and al quite literally I might even like I might even get him on the on the ringer. I might actually like say like yo, do you wanna be in the video? I might even say like yo, what the hell do I do, man? Like, you gotta fix what what went wrong, Sam. I'm like, oh, fine. Yeah. <laughs> I might do that. That sounds like a great that sounds like a great callback. That's a sci-fi meme in general. Only a certain amount of people are gonna get that though. So make a note of that. Let's just make a, a good line here and go story, right? So, oh God, that's really. A Gushinia story, I'm sorry? A what in my story?
<coughs> you mean Ziggy? Alan Zig Ziggy was the rope was the AI. Uh, oh, you're thinking of um. Oh, who are you thinking of? Who was the other guy who used to work with him? No, it wasn't Gushy. Was it Gushy? Wait, that does ring a bell actually. Ziggy was the was the was the handheld device. Was it Goonie? Wait, who is it now? I need to know the. I need to know this. Oh, 2022, I want the original cast. <laughs> oh, it was Gucci. Yeah, you was right. Yeah, you was right. You are right. Oh. I'm sorry, that was really disgusting. I'm so sorry. Where are the tissue gone? Let's hello there. Uno momento, por favor. What? There we go. Sorry, chat. Ooh. It's Gucci. Yeah, 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 you're right. It's been ages since in the show. I completely forgot about him. He wasn't in it that much, though. He was only in it for the episodes when they... Oh, no, it was in the beginning as well. Was, was he in the beginning? <coughs> it was at the start of the show. He's the one that called Al on, on the phone, wasn't it? Okay, now here's the question chat. Why do I want to go to the future? What's my what's my motivation for that? I can't spell future very well What's the motivation there? Why do I want to check out the future? What's the story here? What's the narrative? Where, where, why do I want to go forward? Why do I want to check it out? Future using... Using a time traveling... Time... Traveling... Pocket watch. There's a reference to Maybe because it's just cool. Maybe, yeah, maybe maybe that's just enough. Maybe the maybe the idea of the AI is like Um the th the threat is the AI. So it's like the reason like what so the future is so re oh, we'll put here reason. Did you Slav? So the reason why he, wa I want to tra he wants to travel to the future is because he wants to see how far editing technology goes. Maybe. What can we learn today? I'm actually writing out. I'm actually kind of uh, outlining a story right now for a YouTube video. <clears throat> so I'm kind of like giving myself. I'm kind of showing you the process that I would normally go through for a YouTube video, but a bit more detail. Um. We're doing a YouTube video on editing hacks to save time or editing mistakes that I've done in the past. Um, that's like centered around a bit of time travel and there's a kind of a creative story with it. So yeah, I'm going to be kind of breaking that down and kind of showing it all off and I'll explain more in a minute once I get back to the main page. Alien Hunter. Um, so... <coughs> Take it easy, Mike. I'll have a good one, dude. Um, so the reason I want to go is like maybe I want to check out to see how far 
Like, can you imagine all the editing AI tools in the future? I want to check that out. Maybe that's maybe that's enough. Like, wants to check out all the future editing tools. Yeah, maybe that's the That's the reason. That's the reason why he wants to go to the future. And then from there we'll do it we'll do a yellow bullet point here. So this is gonna be this is gonna be our moment of like Sam leaps forward, leaps in time. Yeah, and I kind of want to make that a bit of like a reference, like, oh, in the future, can you imagine, like, AI editing doesn't mean we have to do nothing. It's so fast, you have to blink and it's done kind of thing. I want to lean into that a little bit. Leaps in time and sees and lands in an alt. So that alt timeline is here. This is the, it's the red here, right? This red here is this timeline here. Essentially, what that's what that is. Just like I'm showing kind of the the reference, right? So <clears throat> here's the story as it goes, right? Me as a character in this story, I've just found this really cool time traveling pocket watch, right? If you're a, if you're British, right? You may have heard of a show called, um, right? If you look at a, as a TV show in, in, in Britain, or used to be a show called Bernard's Watch, right? So I'm combining a couple of sci-fi uh, time travel rules here, right? So Bernard's Watch was a TV show where a kid could uh, pause time with a stopwatch, right? And that was the TV show. It was for kids. You know, it's called Bernard's Watch. It was a magical uh, stopwatch that could, you know, pause time or freeze time. All right. What I'm going to do now um, is um, basically take that idea and use it in a way that's like, right, this pocket watch can help me travel forward or backwards in time. So what I want to do is check out how far in the future it's going to take before we discover and use AI to edit videos faster. That's the that's the concept, right? So I use the watch to tr send me forward in time, but it goes wrong. I get sent forward, right, to an alternative timeline. So I get, you know, like a branch timeline. So I have like in, in like Loki and all that, the TV show. <clears throat> There's a branch timeline that happens, right? I then get sent to that one. Now in this timeline, it's dark, dreary. It's not very happy. It's everything's like kind of, you know, grayish and desaturated. And I'm like, what's going on here? And I've gone forward and I check out that I have actually, I, the person that's in this future, me, is not the me that I am now. It's an alternative me that didn't learn how to edit properly, didn't learn the tools and the things to become a faster editor, was just really lazy with it and was like, you like didn't learn from the mistakes of becoming an editor and just kind of like, you know, carried on the way that it was going. And I'm like, I need to fix this. This can't be the timeline that, happens or becomes a thing right it's like what do i do i need to go back in time and fix all the mistakes leading up to this moment and correct this timeline okay i use the watch for that so i go back in time which is what this blue line is right here this this one here this one right i then go back in time to the beginning of the alternative timeline the red timeline and i go forward and i leap forward and correct mistakes that affected me in the past while teaching people how to do it themselves so they don't make the same mistakes that i did does that make sense does that make sense so like i'm using like an alternative timeline version of me to correct things that might go wrong for you if you're learning to edit or doing things that it's like i'll introduce a tool i have to mute the microphone for a second
So, I've gone back in time to correct those mistakes and I leap forward to the different mistakes, put out the timeline, and I fix them. Halfway through, I go and check that must be enough. There must be a um, there must be enough up to uh, to um, just it was just a car outside being loud. Um, that must be enough for me to fix the timeline. I go forward and check with this line here. I go forward and check. No, it's still the same same stuff. Something must be bigger here going on. And then it hits me. I know exactly what it is. You know, and I go back in time again. And I fix more mistakes going forward. I check then the, the moment in the future and everything's fine. Everything's back to normal. I then tell people if they want to become a faster editor, they check out the next video. I point to it and say, right, see you guys later. And I push the button and then I go and the video goes with it. It's like just black screen, essentially. It becomes like the, the scene from freaking Fortnite, right? With uh, the black hole at the end. <coughs> and so, yeah, that's the story. That's the narrative. So the objective is to teach people to give people tools to prevent them from making uh, effect, uh, preventing pr mistakes that will affect them in their editing career, right? To prevent them from making mistakes while they're editing videos. The narrative that I'm spinning is that I'm actually fixing a timeline, a corrupted timeline in, in my life, right? So like time travel, fix the timeline where I didn't, I didn't, fix those mistakes those mistakes still happen but i just left them as they were does that make sense so that's the narrative that's the story right i think it's quite a fun idea it's gonna take some filming and some and some kind of practical like oh well i'm gonna get my head around this now it's you know getting through all of it but i need to like but i feel it's gonna be like a really fun video to watch what do you guys think? So you were DM ages ago, you never replied. What? Where would you? Where did you DM me, Fishy? Where would you DM me? Ton of work. Yeah, it will be a ton of work. But with the right kind of sequencing, I could probably get it to work. Discord? I don't know my DMs open on Discord. And if I if you did DM me and I don't know who you are, I will not reply. I will delete the DM. Like that's just here it is. If you want me for business stuff, email me. Or reach out to me on Twitter with an with an at and ask a question there. I don't respond to Discord DMs unless I know you personally, pretty much. What about interstellar type vibe where you see yourself in the past or future? That's what I'm going to be doing. So I'll be seeing myself in the past. There will be a me, the red one here. So, that, so there will be, <clears throat> there will be two Sams, right? So there'll be two Sams. Right? There'll be one here. On this timeline. And there'll be one here. Oh, I get you. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I don't know if I ever got that one. I think I'd ever remembered that if I if I had that through my Discord DMs. <coughs> or oh, seeing it. So, let me undo that. It's actually quite under. Yeah. One here, one here. Timeline, so black timeline is my main timeline, so I should probably make a point of that, shouldn't I? So like... Uh, what would I call this one? Put it branch. Let me 
You get the idea. Main timeline, branch timeline, and then have, yeah, vroom, 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 vroom. And then at the end, you don't know what happens to me. If I go back to my main timeline or if I'm stuck. <clears throat> I'm not doing any Twitch design stuff anymore, Fishy, unfortunately. Um, I'm actually removing all of my old Twitch design stuff off of this channel. It's going to a different channel. I'm doing it slowly. Uh, I didn't blind creeper. Um, I don't want to make any more Twitch design stuff, any more tutorials. I think that era of my channel has gone, I think. You know, I think if I ever do a Twitch design video, it won't be on this channel anymore. That's just kind of the way that it is. I'm focusing more on helping creators make better stuff. And better stuff is... For me, at least, it's it's through storytelling and making better videos rather than better streams. I've I've grown a, a little bit of a disdain for um, Twitch streams in general. Um, Twitch streaming has become one of my least favorite things to happen. YouTube streaming is different for some reason. I don't know why. YouTube streaming, I, I really I really enjoy it, but Twitch streaming is a, it just feels really. I don't know. It feels really it feels really meh. So we've got to find a way now to make this make sense. Sam leaps in time and lands in a... In fact, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to delete this real quick. Oops. You know what? I'm going to delete that. I'm just going to type it. I'm going to write it out. Do you design your videos on the iPad like you're doing now? Or do you do more notes on Notion? So this one is kind of more visual for you guys to see kind of what's going on in my head. <clears throat> uh, but I do use Notion to, to type the script. This is kind of for me, this is a new thing for me as well, but I, I do like write things down, you know. Oh, awesome blind creeper. Yeah, I've got some. I've got some videos that I'm working on right now that are going to be pretty cool. I'm looking forward to making them. <clears throat> but yeah, I, uh, I usually kind of do like iPad stuff. What app are you using? I didn't will. This is uh, just free form on the iPad. Uh, I use. Uh, I've used Miller Note in the past, uh, but I usually use Notes on the iPad or free form on the iPad. Uh, which is what this is. This is Freeform. Um, Freeform exists on the Mac and on the phone as well, I believe. So you can use either one. Um, this is an iPad-only app, so just bear that in mind. Um, I've been using this a lot for doodling and for like kind of just getting stuff out of my head and writing it down. And it's been very helpful, as you can see. Kind of like I'm, I'm visualizing kind of what the story is going to look like. Figment's good as well. I've heard of, I've heard of is it Fig... Was it another one? Figma, that's what it is. I was like, yeah, is, is it Figma? Yeah. Yeah, Figma is one I've heard of as well. Um, <coughs> um,
Yeah, there we go. <coughs> iPad and PC. Um, so what I'm doing right now is I'm actually just screen mirroring to my Mac. Um, a transition setup. You mean like what for my my stream? But that one. I think Figma works on PC and Mac. Well, I think. It's actually going to get updated soon because I'm actually going to be changing my stream design again. <laughs> All this talk about me moving away from Twitch stuff, but I want to make a bit more of a, of a unique stream design again. No worries, well. Um, yeah, this is a story pretty much. I was gonna uh, be right back, chat. I need the bathroom, so I will not be long. You can enjoy some stream site music. I'll chat to you all in a little bit. And I have returned. Oh. One moment, chat. Sorry. Right. Okay. What I'm going to do now, I think, is I'm going to focus on. Um, I think we have the story. Making gaming videos, so how would you determine what's funny for the audience and what's funny for you? Um, because it's subjective. Um, that's a very good question. And one of the answers I would say is if it's if it feels like it's similar to um, I need to sneeze. <laughs> I sniffled. Um, well, thank you, Day Alex, for the uh, for that because I may I may sneeze during the stream because I do, I am quite sick. Um. I know what you mean, noisy mix. And the way I would argue with that is, um, 
if the humor is similar on another video that's done really really well or is funny if the humor say it's you getting like i don't know getting uh smacking somebody's you're playing like um that party animals game for example right where you you got four it's like um gang beasts right you pick up a pick up like a, a mallet and you swing it and you smack uh somebody's head and you make it makes a dong noise and you zoom in you make that kind of heavy like the, the 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 momentum and the reaction and the editing and the timing and all that you've played it out and it's funny right if you've noticed that, that that moment in your video is also similar to other moments in popular videos where they've done a similar thing if it's funny for other people the views will will show that it's like okay what's funny here about this video if you like how explain it within your niche within your area of experts within your area of like oh this is kind of my these are the games that i play if if you've made videos where funny moments similar funny moments have happened and you capitalize on those and you make them you emphasize how funny they are and they're similar to other creators doing funny similar funny things and they're funny then you can probably assume that the same audience is watching that video as they're watching yours. Oops. Does that make sense? Oh no, officially there's a. Did you see the, the, the? Did you see? Did you check out the video underneath it? The reply to that. Um, which is the uh, there's a there was a video there unlist an unlisted video that it had a fix. I make an investment on the blesses. Thank you. I appreciate that. That makes sense, Noisy. Right, you got video like... Go on, zoom in. But your video is here. Their video is here, right? You do X funny thing. They also do X funny thing, right? They have 100,000 views on that video, right? You want to know if that funny moment works. Just look at their video. <clears throat> that kind of thing, you know what I mean? <coughs> yeah, you're getting opinions from other people as well. It's always useful. Have a group of people that will... Here's the thing. Yeah, I'm with you. Familiar with Ray. I've not heard of that guy now. Never really scripted. That's that's you know what that takes. That takes practice. You know what might suit you as well, weirdly enough, um, noisy, is learning about improv. If you want to develop funny videos and learning how to like develop videos that don't feel as scripted, do some courses. Like look on YouTube, read, watch some videos, read some books on how to get better at, at improv. Right. If you know how to do improv comedy through gaming you're gonna have so much to reel off of right and it's it's about being intentional right if you can do intentional ideas with improv reactions you'd be that would be a different level of video i don't have commissions now yes improv learning how to improv learning comedy improv is great but the key is, and I mentioned it in one of my most recent videos, um, which is the one that the um, the, the nobody's watching, watching your gaming videos one, where it's it's in it's reaction, it's proactive and reactive content, right? Proactive is I've got this game that I'm going to play, then I want to do this by the end of the video, right? Now, if you are reacting to the things that happen in that video, you change the narrative, you change the story, right? right once you have using both you can then like level up those videos because you're being proactive something happens in while you're gaming you're all oh, right i'm going to react to this and make it and capitalize on this moment and improv off of it that then takes your adds layers adds depth adds more to your videos and makes it different in a good way takes it to hold like raises it up Right, I'll give you an example, right? So here's what, it, here's what I'm trying to say. Let's go up here, right? I'll visually ex explain it, right? You have 
reactive content and proactive content on p right on their own they're pretty linear right you have character goal it's pretty simple by the end of this video i want to achieve this if the video is just them going oh i've achieved it that's a pretty boring video isn't it who wants to watch a video where somebody actually achieves the goal <clears throat> right whereas reactive content is this right reactive content is like this <laughs> goal right <laughs> that's reactive content that's a streamer reacting to what happens on stream and having no intention with it right when you mix them both together right when you mix both reactive content and pr uh, proactive content together you get this you have a journey right you start here you have a really successful thing here that happens here. oh no you oh no something happens in the game you go down here you, you die in your first game oh no okay oh i'm winning oh no i lost again oh wait 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 wait. oh no 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 oh wait boom your victory you know <clears throat> that's the difference where you combine this one this bit here is a much more engaging and visually captivating story because people go oh oh you keep the people watching because you're you're, you're leading them through it's like fishing right you, you don't pull straight away you'll snap the line you gotta tease let them go tease let them go tease let them go that's how it works right telling a good story this is combining emotion so like here is you getting maybe getting a victory or getting close to a victory and then this bit here is is the all is lost moment here this is the moment where you've just lost the game you don't know what the hell's going on what where do i go from here okay i, I, I guess i'll try and i'll try and, and do it again nope doesn't fail doesn't work come on it fails again here you try again yeah nope fails you then crash again or we'll try it one more time you then go all the way up and then you get the big green tick you do it this visually is a mess for one or so i apologize from, from my kind of thing here but i'm thinking i'm making the impression of what i'm trying to get across is that both of these both of these areas here right while good on their own they can work on their own one is pretty boring and one has no no format this one's pretty boring on its own this one has no format reactionary content is good in small chunks this is boring on its own this is combining everything together <coughs> you react to thinking it happens in game oh crap let's change the entire narrative completely now i need to pivot and do something different because this like this is stopping me from getting that goal i need to i need to fix this first and then i can get to the goal am i making sense Dude, that's, that's awesome i'm glad to hear that dude that's kind of the point of that. that's why i made that video i believe gaming creators have so much potential to to do to do good stuff but unfortunately right now a lot of people are just going i'm going to stream this i'm going to do a let's play of this game Can I go shifting? There we go. Okay. But yeah. So now, the big thing is this bit here is the. We should make this blue. Yeah. Refine, do more. Let's be real here, right? Let's be real. 
So don't you find that those videos are more fun to make? Who had more fun? Oh, a bomber tank. How's it going, dude? I missed your message there. So I'm sorry. Or if someone listen to me and compared to listen to Harris, I mean, everyone, everyone's got different tastes and preferences. You know, these videos are so much more to make, fun to make. Which is why I'm making this one, which is the, the this time travel one, because it's like. <clears throat> Yeah, it's a bit more, a bit more effort, a bit more work, but I think I'm gonna have more fun making it, and that's that, for me. That's the that's the more important thing is what's gonna get me more fun, what's gonna make me more, what's gonna make me enjoy this video more than the last one. And if this and this if this video doesn't perform well when it first opens up, I don't really mind. Oh, I mean, yeah, I'll feel a bit like oh, that's a shame. I was hoping it would do better. Okay, I'll. I'll Maybe I'll tweak the format of the thumbnail a bit more, you know. I am mostly RK, yeah, yeah, I am. Before I start doing all this creative work to do, oh, nice one. I'm, 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 I'm feeling a bit better. I'm feeling a bit better. Having a goal and uh, going to the gameplay also helps focus me. Yeah, exactly. It really does. I need more water. Mm. I'm only 29 years of age. <laughs> Making noises with a, a bottle. So. Do we have a sorry, Do we have a beginning, middle, and end? We have a be, do we have a beginning, middle, and end? That's our thing, right? So. Let's have a look at. Let's have a look at. Beginning, middle, and end here. So we have Act 1. We have Act 1. All right, we'll do beginning, right? We'll do beginning. Let's actually split it down into body points. So... We have... Sam uses watch. Sam goes to alt future sees problem travels to past fixes Problem one, two, and three checks future no change Six, four, four, five, and six. Should be six problems or four. I use Fonica Pro. I don't use the Adobe Suite. I'd much rather, um, I would much rather step on Lego than use Adobe stuff. Oh, After, After Effects I'm okay with, but everything else. Uh, mostly Premiere. Premiere is one of the worst programs I've ever used. <clears throat> Yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather step on broken glass or Lego. Lego is preferable. I'd rather step on Lego than use Premiere. <coughs> but I, I prefer DaVinci Resolve over that, but I, I edit with Final Cut Pro. Six.
I like that. Thank you, Air Noisy. <coughs> In fact, so, okay. That's our story chat right here. It's pretty much here a, a rewrite of this. You move this over here. Oops. Can I move it, please? That'd be great. There we go. I'm gonna. Oops. It's the wrong one. The future. He then goes into the. Oh, old future. Oh, I'm gone. Watch. You travel. I did the wrong thing again. There we go. So the use of the watch center in the future. The reason for the future is he wants to see the I want to see the editing tools with AI, see how the future's changing, changing, all that fun stuff, right? I then go to instead of traveling to a main future, I then time travel to an alternative future. Oops, my door just opened. Right. I then see the problem of what's happened. I then travel to the past in the red timeline. So travel to the red past. I then fix problem one, two, three. Check the future. No change. And then fix problem four, five, and six. And then seven. Check the future. Saved. Leaps again into the unknown. What was the software on? What was? I'm confused here, Hunter. What are you asking me for? Sorry. What this was? Oh, this this software is uh, on my iPad. This is called Freeform. If you want to know what this is. Timeline. We have a main timeline and then our branch timeline. Question is, which ones here work well for? So we have organizing, we have editing in general and like making mistakes on the Final Cut Pro, not Pathonica Pro. Final Cut Pro. It's a Mac based software. I don't know where Pathonica Pro Pro came from. <coughs> I may change some of these. Yeah, I may change some of these. So less robotic. Um you're gonna hate the answer, but it's gonna be practice. Both go gaming. Um one thing that can help you sound less robotic, if you've written it word for word, try not to do that. Instead, maybe give yourself like a prompt, like talk about this subject that you know and care about, that you are passionate about, write a few words 
of like oh this is like you know this is what you want to mention like maybe bullet point it like go mention this this and this as three things and then you just talk and try it out one thing that could help you as well wolf girl is once you've completed a video and you've uploaded it if you feel like you could do better on your strip and your screen presence um what you could do is you could say right i'm gonna go and re-record not to re-upload it but i'm gonna re-record this part of the script and i'm going to rewrite it and i'm going to format it in a way that I, I can just remember it off the top of my head and i i don't got to read it right so you can be talking about kind of like editing videos for example and like say like with this section here when i talk about multicam i can say right okay what is a multicam clip in my head right a multicam clip is a way that you can group and synchronize multiple camera angles in a single clip which allows you to switch angles and cut between different variations of viewpoints I go okay well can you streamline that yourself yeah i could probably i could probably say that better to someone i go okay right cool let's try it out and i record a line i go right a multi-cam clip is a container that allows you to synchronize and add multiple different camera angles for different viewpoints why is that useful well if you have multi and that's useful because if you have multiple different that's useful because if you have multiple different camera angles you can cut between them really easily you see how that feels less robotic and more natural that's like how you could wing a video pretty much is find the points you're talking about and then re remind yourself what they are and then go for it <clears throat> i don't know better so that's kind of what, what i would recommend doing with that and then try it out and then just do more of that you know you may feel unconfident with it or inconfident unconfident No reason to take it easy, dude. Have a good one. Thank you for hanging out. cool so we have a rough story i may have changed the ones that we use we can do that in a bit but i want to work on the thumbnail um right now and i want to fix the thumbnail for this video so <coughs> the thumbnail i'm actually going to use this one um hey you doing elboka elbow elboka wait elboka was that correctly Don't worry, the um, the VOD will still be up afterwards as well. So I'm going to take this thumbnail because I don't think this. So the title is going to be. In fact, let's work on the title thumbnail. Um, I actually would like some food as well. I might order some food chat. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, what do this? Yeah, well, I could give you a rundown, though, if you want me to. We're basically working on a YouTube video for uh, the channel. And it's going to be one of my next videos. And it's about editing, saving time while editing, right? So, editing mistakes, right? <coughs> um, Give me a second. No. Trying to order food. Oh, that's why. Um, so the idea is about editing mistakes, 
or rather editing tools to help you prevent making mistakes or to stop you making more mistakes if that makes sense so it's like the idea is that like people being unorganized is a problem i have a tool to fix that people spending too long editing i have a tool to fix that people are spending too long editing silent edit videos i have a tool to fix that that kind of thing so that's kind of the process is that there's a, there's a problem and the solution is this mistake this this thing fixes it however i didn't want to do like a normal talking head video i wanted to change it up and so i came with a story that i wanted to, to present and that was i have a time traveling stopwatch that allows me to maybe it's not a stopwatch maybe it's a clapperboard what about that that'd be kind of fun wouldn't it a time traveling clapperboard that when i clap it it takes me forward in time i don't know we may, we may change <clears throat> we may change some stuff we may change some stuff i don't know we'll see uh i do have a clapperboard that i could use and i can like write you know and do it we kind of cool but anyway um the um the idea is that i then use that stopwatch to because i want to see what the future is like the story opens i've been editing for so long now i want to see what the future is like uh because you know i've learned pretty much all that can be about video editing so i want to see what the future is like to see you know how things change use the stopwatch or the tool to travel to forward in time but i jump into a alternative timeline where f that me that version of me isn't the one i am right now it's not as fast not as efficient doesn't know a lot about editing has made countless mistakes and hasn't learned how to edit more efficiently essentially it's made a lot of mistakes with editing and so i need to fix this timeline in order to go back to my main one because i've realized oh no i've i've created a weird timeline thinking i need to fix this so i go back into time and i fix the mistakes that that version of me made with editing so like not organizing timelines properly not organizing footage not doing this this and this and i fix mistakes that editors make all the time when they're making when they're doing videos and i correct myself in that version of the timeline and i give tools to do this yada 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 and then i fix the timeline and i and i leap back out that's the idea that's the timeline video that i'm making which is a very interesting there's a lot of shared analogies for editing and timelines that like i could play around with and kind of work with so i'm like working on that right now and i have an idea for the video um it needs to be a header <coughs> so i'm working on that right now i'm working on the titles and the thumbnails time paradox exactly it's timey why me you know but speaking of that, i actually would like some food One more chat. I'm glad that you're in here though, SP Head. I appreciate being here. Cool. Got some food on the way. Just ordered the burgers. Some burgers. Sorry, let me catch my chat now. Um would you always consider yourself or at least your face in the thumbnail critical i actually wouldn't i'd actually advise against putting your face in the thumbnail because new viewers aren't really going to care you know new viewers aren't going to care it's there for older viewers that kind of thing it's it's not a thing for new viewers um there's been some argument and contention like with friends that i know they're like oh no you should keep your face on there because i would watch your videos over somebody else's and like you're not my audience though you're not my audience uh when it comes to like um uh, software i use affinity photo and affinity designer kind of interchangeably so i want to take this this thumbnail here so i'm going to copy this um and i'm going to delete me here and this laptop and i'm going to delete the views cool 
Come on. What's going on here? I, I, I want to keep the red. I'll keep the red. And take me this. Where am I moving here? Where's me? Where's the laptop? That's what I want to know. Hey, Dragon, how's it going, dude? Grab this table. Where's the table? Is it? No, it's not that. I want to get rid of this. Reverse the flip it around. Do that with it. There we go. Okay, these views. Okay. I'm going to take this idea that I have here, this version of me. It's a bit bigger. <coughs> I like to show face cams. I do it, but it would seem a bit boring in my opinion. Um, It can be. It can be a bit. Yeah, that might be difficult. During the weekend, how are you today? I'm still feeling a bit sick. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. I hope you're getting, I hope you're feeling better. I myself have been feeling a bit sick. Uh, what is this? Is this the? Yeah, it's that. Yeah, okay. So I'm just gonna crop the edge of that. Where is the crop tool? Oh, I know where. Okay. I need a fun. I need a Premiere Pro timeline or a timeline in general. Unsplash, maybe for that one. Premiere Pro timeline. We'll grab this one. Take this, put it up here for a second, and then send it back. Yeah, so like that. I like that a lot. Thank you, man. I appreciate that, dude. Let me increase the amount. Right, let me just duplicate this and put it behind the timeline. If I set this to be like. So I need something that's going to look good. I don't quite like that, actually. I'll keep it normal for now. And then I'll just reduce this to like 50% maybe. Maybe I want to get like a uh, mm, 80. See, I want to do this. I'll show you. Okay. Right. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys something in a minute, right? Okay, ready? I just want the frame and I'm gonna recreate this. Every editor knows this pain. Okay, I'm actually going to recreate the actual frame itself. <coughs> so 
Okay, let me do this. Get a rounded corners. Oh God. Why would you show that to us? Let me undo that. Let me just turn this off for a second. Duplicate it. Thank you, the wolf man. I appreciate that. What's going on here with this? Go on, Helvetica. I think it's all right. I'm going to... This is going to be... I need to figure out what, what, what I want to write here. Oops. What was the... What did the prompt look like? Oh, it's Premiere Pro. It is. This high pass filter is really. Is it cool? Is that the reason why it's. Yeah, it is. I'm going to put the. I'll turn it off for now. Yeah, I wanted to create like a kind of like. So that kind of like, you know, you suck kind of vibe might bring this whole thing down a bit. That's the okay, case, so I'm going to make it a bit bigger. Should it be in front of me? Hmm. I might shrink the uh, window a bit. I don't think sorry you suck is a good enough. I think it needs to be like. I think it needs to be something else.
I want to put him in the middle, really. Like, like, like that's kind of where I want to. That's kind of where I wanted to put this, but it's not working in the middle, is it? A little bit bigger. Hmm. If my arm wasn't this fucking. Annoying. Oops, that's the wrong one. Add out the shadow. Oh, there we go, that's what I want. Maybe I should like shoot the logo down a bit. Or just like, instead of sorry you suck, but you suck. And I'll make the Premiere Pro text regular instead. I'll make the logo bigger. Thank you so much, Wolfman. I appreciate that. Kind of want to make that radius match on the logo there. You know what I mean? <clears throat> you know the high pass to me here instead and then that way I can like Go in and then boost this. I think I added a uh, desaturation, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Should it? Hmm. I'm going to try a few ideas here. Hey, Breaking. I uh, hopped into ask you on the TikTok algorithm. I have no idea. I 
I know what you mean, uh, Wolfman. Yeah, I kind of I'm, I'm thinking of that I might just swap some things around. Well, don't ask me for the uh, you, the TikTok algorithm. Sorry. Um, I recently discovered that TikTok is um the um TikTok staff heat videos. Apparently, I've heard that uh, going around in the minute. Uh, for those that don't know what heating videos is, it basically means you are putting more emphasis on a person's channel, a person's content. Um, because they uh, they make either better videos or they make more entertaining videos. I heard that somewhere recently as well. Yeah, it's just weird. So, it, it, for me, it's very hit or miss. I might get rid of the oak. I don't, I don't, I don't. It ain't crazy feather. How's it going? You might appreciate this uh, video. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of I'm, I'm using it as an opportunity to play around with different menu things. I, I I'm inclined to agree with you. Oops. What about oops? No, 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 we crash. Oops. <laughs> yeah, I said oops. I feel better? Does that feel like a more of a concise thumbnail? So I sent an email, but we I'm just checking it out real quick. Hmm. 
there's a way to make the type of canvas in photoshop one way you can easier yeah it's an artboard in it might be an artboard in like a in illustrator that's how i've uh, that's how i've been so i would use it okay i'm going to change um some stuff around here as well so we're going to get rid of the menu bar here and then i'm going to go and scale me up i'm going to put me here not as big it's a little bit smaller like this off to the side and i'm going to grab this timeline shot that we have behind us what the hell is this okay grab that's the we can turn this one off for now grab this shot scale it down a little bit and i'm then gonna let me turn off that ellipse what color is that timeline what color is that gray <coughs> and get rid of this uh, outline on me as well Let's do this actually. Let's go. There's a white. That works really well. Wait a minute. There's another one. Ah, that's what it is. It's in a glow. Let's just turn it off. You use our water for a shop? Or okay, no, I, don't, I, I don't use Photoshop. Oh! Maybe you got a plugin or an extension? I've never seen that before. Where is the uh, square tool? There it is. I am using photo too, yeah. I'm using it for a little bit now. I really do like it. I was running on here with that. Go home, you're drunk. Hmm. May play around with this <clears throat> in a shadow that I've done here. Bring down the intensity. I quite I might go back to the old red actually. If I, I might add a red here. Offset it. Offset it completely. Change to a red. Like that. There we go. Because what that does is then creates the illusion that this is actually like a glowing, like, red. I quite like that as a thumbnail option. Should the exp... Um, hmm. uh, I might do this. I quite like the last one, honestly. Out of all of them, I'm liking the last one more. Sim for the simple fact that it's it's well, it's simple number one. Yeah, I think this is a one-time purchase. Yeah. Let's do eighty-five. Yeah, the, the, the single license is so smart for them. And it works on Mac, PC, iPad. Uh, the, 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 full, the one time license you, put, you, you buy, the license you get works for Mac, Windows, and iPad. You go into here, add an inner glow. 
in the glue, maybe. Red. <coughs> I have an idea. There's a glue. If I do this, duplicate this, turn this one off. And then That's what I want to do. What I'm going to do. The fuck? Oh. No way. For that. Hey, Sterling. Well, I did this one here. I did, I, I like crashed, LOL. I like that more than we crashed. Well, I'm actually gonna. I might play around with it. There is a bit of a. There is a perspective shift on the uh, on the laptop. A very subtle one. That's the case. I was bringing the thing down a bit more. Yeah, the laptop a little bit bigger. A very small laptop, isn't it? Thinking about it. Make it a bit bigger. That feels more. My food is in the way, chat, by the way, so I apologize. I will be having to go and grab that in a second. I want to, uh, in school hey commitment <coughs> all right which one are we thinking here chat which one kind of like hits you hard or hits you kind of more in fact instead of you suck i think i'll do the crashed lol i'm actually just going to copy the one that i did here and paste it here and then put it here Which one's like hitting more to you? I'm sure in the corner. I like you suck. I don't know. I think the it's about editing mistakes. Editor mistakes, not editing. Like mistakes editors make. Six. What? Crazy. What about these three? It's so tell crazy to make sure that they are on the uh, on the right time. Got they're up to date.
So if we were to do There we go. Oh, got you, got you, got you. My food is here, chat. I'm gonna be right back. I won't be too long. Enjoy the music and decide for you, decide which one you like. Hello. <clears throat> it's a thumbnail for a video about editing mistakes. Let's just use it as our basis for now. Number one. You think number one's better? Hey, out of Australia, Sai. How you doing, dude? Okay. In terms of what would get clicks, which one would you click on more? One or three? I want to keep my cam up, cam off while I eat food, chat. If that's okay with you. Go with three. That's fair. So instead of then crash then, wh wh where could we change that to make it more mistakes based? So maybe like, we go back to the you suck, LOL. Was that the balance? Okay, interesting. Hmm. My drink. Yeah, that's kind of the idea. That's what I'm thinking as well. Okay, so I'll keep my cam off for now because I'm eating food, but um, I'm still here. Just so you know.
Probably not. Hold on. You did bring up a good point. Is that required? Like, could it just be like a timeline here? That's the wrong one. What if it's a, um... Hmm. Let me think. That's a funny idea. Stop, maybe? Well, that's a good idea. Putting stop in there. I like that idea. I'm going to shrink this down a bit more then. <clears throat> I know what you mean there, yeah. The Red X worked. Let's try doing this one. I'm going to do the title as well, real quick. So the title for this one's going to be a bit different. I know the premise for this. We're going to be... What's the name of it now? Some of you put it earlier, right? You actually told me about it earlier. Who was it? It was Noctu said... Seven mista uh, mistakes you're doing edit uh, video is there seven mistakes you're doing right now, but I wanted to change it to video edit mistakes you're doing right now. Edit mistakes you're doing right. Video edit mistakes you're doing right now. <clears throat> Be editing mistakes. Editing mistakes you're doing right now. Be better. I like that one. Hmm?
It's under 50 characters. I'm talking titles now. Mm. I was thinking that as well, Rock. The reason why I like the arrows or the X's is because it's pretty ambiguous as to what it is. I think you know what I prefer. I'll keep one for now, so I have a backup. But hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hang on a Hmm. <coughs> hey, Salty. in this one. <clears throat> Get in, Jason. What about, what about these editing mistakes are slowing you down? Oh. 
That one has 39 characters. No, it has 43, sorry. <coughs> what the hell, Salty? I have another idea. <clears throat> it is if you like playing paying for one thing once, just call me Tex. Oh, um, I like all of them. But I've got a favorite from like the new new seasons. I'd say I like Capaldi. I like Smith. Eccleston. <coughs> Paul McGowan's probably my favourite classic doctor. But yeah, L. Oh. I do decide, yes. I use a tool called Creator ML to help me out. I like talking for. I like four, yeah. I like McGann and McCoy are like my two favourites for some reason in the classics. Okay. <laughs> that was like a concert idea, was it? Sorry guys, I'm still quite chesty in coffee. Yeah, it was. It was really cheap, Michael. Okay. Um, for me it is. It's, it depends on wh what you get out of it. What you're looking to do with it, to be honest with you. Um, crazy. I'm with you there, but there's also a level of like, you've also got to like attract the, the other, you know, you got to check a wider audience as well. These 10 ones are not going to work. Oops. Okay, it's fine. <coughs> well, I just delete there. Wait a minute. You can go. 
You can go. Yeah, of course he's an option. Hey, you doing, Joe? Okay. Um, these mistakes will. We'll, we'll slow you down. Slow your down. I've got to work on the intro for the video first. We've got to work. I've got to work on the the intro. Um, that's going to be important. So, here's the crack. Okay, we might need to change the story a little bit for this video. I feel like I need to. In order to um, make sense with the with the story, <clears throat> I want to make. Um, I want. To, I need to. I need to open up the video with a clear idea of what's going to happen to make it more understandable for people. And the way to do that is just by telling them what's going to happen. But give me a second, Jane, to blow my nerves. That goes off my brains. Jesus Christ. Oh my gosh, Joe. <clears throat> so. <clears throat> here's what I'm thinking. We open the video with... Me saying... Maybe me saying... As an editor of the past couple of years, over the last 10 years... I've learned a lot about what it takes to... I've, I've learned a lot from my mistakes. But there was a time when... I wasn't really that good. I'm just, I'm just kind of structuring a story in my head with a, with a, with a, with a hook. As an editor for over 10 years, I've learned a lot about the industry. Yeah, as an editor for over 10 years, I've learned a lot about what it takes to be a good editor. takes to be good at what I do. And over that time, I've learned a lot from my own mistakes. And so today, I'm going to show you some of those mistakes. Not by, you know, this, however, but I have this, which is a, you know. And I'm going to do that by using this. Yes, it's a pocket watch, but let me explain why. <clears throat> I, I quite like that. It's an intriguing element. Yeah. Okay, so we'll start off. We'll go with what we've got right now. We can always change it. <coughs> As a video editor for the past video editor for the past ten years, I've Hmm, <clears throat> okay. That, this might work out better for the story. I'm thinking in my head here. Hmm. Have this. <coughs> I 
I'm dying slowly. Uh, by using it. Hmm. Okay, I actually like this video. That is it. And then it's... Use the watch. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Right, yeah, I want to I I workshop this bit here. I've spent the last over 10 years working hard to become the best editor I possibly can, video really editor I possibly can. Not been an easy task. Take it easy, dude. Have a good one. Thank you for hanging out. Yeah, so <clears throat> so it's kind of the good of the story. So I'm going to change it slightly to be where I leap forward, but I I, I intentionally leap into a new dimension. Any gravy? Stream on your on your link into the community. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I have a good one, dude. Thank you so much for for saying that. That means a lot. I appreciate that. I'm feeling a lot better now. Um, I've been ill the last few days, but today's been a a pretty good day. Um, so I've spent the last 10 years working hard to become the best video editor I possibly can and it's not been an easy task I've made plenty of mistakes in that time and I'm going to show you with this I'm going to show you those with this You're right. Yes, it's a stop watch. All right. Yes, it's a pocket watch But it's not any old pocket watch by using this I can travel at any point in time that I want to and I'm going to use it to show you some of the worst mistakes that I've made as an editor and now you can prevent you them yourself da -da 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 -da. Use the watch I then get thrown into time. We'll do like a cool visual effect with it. I then get put for, travel forward in time and I get thrown into a situation where I'm in the future or, or I'm in the past and I'm... A th okay, so... <clears throat> I feel like I need to... Um, I feel like I, I would love to have the, the drama there of... Having a what if, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if I did this? I travel back, show the mistakes, and I try and go forward to the present, but then I end up in an alternate timeline where something's happened in the past that I need to fix. And I need to go back and show off more more tricks maybe that's how i introduce the uh the ad the recut ad maybe that's how i do that and uh, that sounds kind of fun because i want there to be some level of like oh crap you've done something wrong here you've 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 you, something's gone out of alignment here you need to fix a timeline 
I need to go, right, what do we need to do? We need to go back in time and fix this moment here. I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I've got to fix the timeline. So I go back, talk about more mistakes that were made, fix those mistakes, and then I leap forward again to the future. <coughs> oh, awesome. Yeah, yeah, co-work. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, so that might be the story. Yeah. So I'm just thinking about all the narratives, all the story points, and all the visuals I want to do. I'd like to do like a split screen effect. Or maybe I'm in my living room and I'm doing the, the video and I'm Editing on the sofa, on the settee, and I, I travel back to that moment. <coughs> like a flashpoint, but a sound point. Yeah, pretty much. And I might lean into it. I might have my friend Alan. Oh my God, what if I did that? What if I did that? <coughs> Sorry, I had an idea of a really funny thing. So, what if I got my friend Alan to play as Al from Quantum Leap? And he's like tuned into my psychic frequency, my, my, my frequency, my brainwave frequency, and he's like a hologram that like only I can see and hear. Like, it's, we get like a deja vu. For, that'd be kind of funny. That's a really obscure reference, but I think a lot of people will get that. I might need to Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll wait for them to like leave and I'll I'll do like a like a knock at the door and I and I fix the problem and like you know and I'll I'll dip back out again. I'll talk about the problem, knock, fix the problem, and then get out again. <coughs> but um Yeah. But yeah, Creative Feather, did you hear the story about the, the, what, what the narrative is for this video? It's the one I tweeted about, actually, which is like the, I want to put more work into these videos. Um, It's about this one. And the story, if you haven't heard it, I'll, I'm happy to, if you, whoever's not heard the story, the uh, the kind of plot for the next video, I'm happy to, uh, happy to divulge and talk about and share it. <clears throat> because... The more I talk about it, the more I share it, the more I can go like, actually, this would be better. So, <clears throat> story's pretty simple. Um, the idea is, is that I'm trying to sh do a video on um, fixing editing mistakes, right? And the idea is that I'm going to use, I have this magical stopwatch. If you're in the UK, you'll remember a show called Bernard's Watch, Right? Bernard's watch was this stopwatch or this pocket watch that could pause and freeze time, right? You push the button, it freezes time. He could do that, and my watch was a similar thing, but it allows me to travel forward and backwards in time as well. That's what the stopwatch will do, what the pocket watch will do. And I'm going to use it to show the mistakes I made in my timeline and to um, see, you know, to, to, uh, to show the mistakes that I made and to show you how you can avoid them by using the tools, by talking about stuff, and by basically tweaking with time to like introduce the, the tool into my past to, you know, tell the story. So I do this for one or three mistakes. And then I go back to the future, right? I go back to the present. But the future's changed. Somehow, somewhere, mistakes happened that I've missed that has caused a. a a ripple effect to happen where 
it's become a dark and bleak future where I'm editing and I'm taking super long to edit. I'm not the me that I am in the future. I'm not, I'm not the same person anymore. It's completely changed, right? Right? <clears throat> and so, once I realize I've made a mistake, I go back in time again to fix it. And I have to fix all of the uh, mistakes that I've made as an editor to correct the present. And then I'm talking about each one, and each one of them is going to be a point for the video. But each one gets fixed, timeline gets corrected, and the end of the video is, if you want to know how to become a faster editor and avoid all of these mistakes, watch this video next. And uh, I'll see you next time. And then, and I, just, and I just, the video ends by it all kind of collapsing to like a black hole kind of thing. So there's a bit of time travel in trying to save time, literally. We're literally saving time. That is literally it. We're literally saving time by becoming a better editor. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mention Bernard's watch. I'm just gonna say this is Bernard, this is this is my watch. It's a pocket watch that in time. It's a huge idea, it really is. It's gonna be a little bit of time to film it, but I'm really excited to film it. Okay, so I was gonna literally saving time editing by saving literally literally saving time by being a better editor. I'm writing that down. I'm literally... You don't get the point. Does anyone miss the joke there? Or did I did I not emphasize the joke? I feel like it's gone over people's heads. Man. <clears throat> Quite literally. Saving time. Great. Because it goes wrong and I save it. <clears throat> the thing is the funny thing is right i've got a couple of like science fiction references in here so i've got the watch right no i got it all right fine Joe, all right, fine. All right, yeah, i get it wasn't that wasn't that great i got the watch i got the sam leaping through time that's a reference because quantum leap my name is sam i'm leaping through time um, my friend Alan, I want him to come in here as well as like an appearance and him play Al as a hologram that only I can see in here um, to say, you've messed up the timeline, dude. You need to go fix it. I'm like, what? Okay. Um, you know, it's this point here. I've sent it to your phone. You know, it's, uh, that's what messed me up. Yep. Oh, fine. You know, and I, and I, and I, and I leap, right? The pocket watch, right? <clears throat> the pocket watch is going to be the Doctor Who fob watch from Doctor Who. The the the, the fob watch from Doctor Who, because I have one of those. Um, and then, yeah, the whole time travel thing is just you know a massive like reference to everything that I've ever done. Van Damme in time, got yeah. Loads of is it Van Damme or Van Dame? I've heard of the character, I've never actually watched Time Cop. Oh. I didn't see the goddammit dragon crime, is it? Uh, YouTube held that. So yeah. It held it and I just I just allowed it. Uh 
Uh, saving time. Hey, Shay. I'm still a bit sick. I'm still a bit sick. Shay. I want to tell Shay the story, as I think he's going to love it. I want to tell Shay. I'm going to repeat myself again, but I, I, I'm, I apologize. I want to tell Shay the story for this video, as I think he's going to absolutely love it. <clears throat> that might be a line. Alan might say, dude, you need to save time. I'm like, I thought I was. Like, no, not that way. I'm talking about saving time from the mistake that you just caused. You need to go back in time and fix this. So... The, uh, the story is this, Shay. So I discover a... I find... I have a pocket watch, right? So the idea is that I spent the last 10 years working as a video editor. I've, you know, I've tried to be the best. And it's not been an easy task. I've made many mistakes along the way. And I'm going to show you those by using this. And I show a pocket watch. It's a pocket watch, but it allows me to travel to any point in time that I want to. And I need to, I'm going to show you my mistakes and how I fix them and, and to prevent you from doing the same. And I use the watch, travel backwards in time to show some mistakes that I've made as, a, as an editor. Boom, 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 you know. Then I go, right, cool, let's, uh, let's go back to the present. And I go back to the present, future's changed, it's bleak. Everything's changed, right? Everything's changed. I'm not the editor that I once was. You know, everything's changed to the point where I'm slow, I'm completely not using keyboard shortcuts, I'm basically a, like a baby editing. And I'm like, what's happened? what went wrong and i have to go back in time to then fix more mistakes to correct the timeline thus save time by not making mistakes and then yeah the mistakes that i'm that i fix are mistakes that will be mentioned in the video as, as editor mistakes that you got to prevent <coughs> hey martin I'm using Notion right here. So. I told you so. Ring, ring my head right now. What, what was it? I told you so. What's that for? You're saying to, to me? Oh, I can't do the baby. I can't do that. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I, I think I'm, I'm really happy with it. And there'll be a sponsor segment in there as well. Yeah, a lot of time travel. A lot of time travel. A lot, a lot of time travel. Hopefully, I'll make it make sense. I'm, I'm, I'm excited about it. Like, genuinely, really excited about this idea. It's going to take a bit more time to make the, the video. Oh, past self telling you. Got you, got you, got you. I don't fishy. Sorry, dude. Maybe even chat to Patrick Sterling because he's he's a he's a uh, he might have a thing on his own channel about it. Thumbnails. Okay, there, chat. Which one pops out for you? I can tell you which one pops out for me. Which one popped out for me instantly was this one. Don't know why, but it did. We're looking at we're looking at these, by the way. These right here. I um, I'd recommend them, yeah, because it's the only software that I really use. It's the stop for you. So, okay, let's let's let me ask you this question, all right? With the story and narrative that I've told you, 
when I'm going back in time and fixing mistakes, right? And the idea is it's about stop doing these editing mistakes. You know, editing mistakes that you're doing that, you know, it's it's that kind of title. It's it's like um it's more so like Editing mistakes you're doing right now. Editing mistakes you need to know about. Or these editing mistakes are slowing you down. You know. That kind of title. We'll need to workshop the title. Do you think a thumbnail like that where I'm like, oh god. And showing the editing mistakes. Because I will be showing mistakes. Right? I will be showing you like things to fix. Right? So it's not exactly like I'm going to be the packaging of the video is going to be important and the way that I'm going to frame it is by using mistakes. <coughs> That's the idea, see? These mistakes are wasting your time. These mistakes are, are These editing mistakes are costing you time. There's a whole metaphor. There's a whole metaphor there. There's a whole time. Time, time, time. Editing mistakes that cost you time. A hand? In with the watch? What watch? There's no watch here. What's one of the mistakes? <clears throat> it's not really one of the mistakes, it's actually kind of like one of the... Well, here's the thing, right? So, so the mistake is this. So, well, let me, let me, let me, let me clarify, actually. A mistake isn't going to be like, oh... The mistake isn't like... Oh, he's done this, or I've done this. What it's going to be more so, right? Let me expand on this a bit more. I have seven tools or seven techniques that I've learned over the time I've been an editor that have helped me pr to be faster or to save time, right? To be quicker, right? If I don't use these tools, if these tools were never in my, in my, in my compendium, but in my toolbox, I, it would take me longer to make videos, right? Right? The mistake is going to be Oh, you're not you're you're disorganized. Here's a solution. Use this software that I've got that I use. You you are taking too long color correcting and color changing, and your 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 timelines a mess. Here's how you can fix that. This mistake with this. Here's how you can save time with recut to set, shave silence off. Right. Use templates. That's the mistake. That you're taking too long making these things. Just use a template or a preset. Um. Keyboard shortcuts. You, 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 the problem is you're taking too long editing. Use a keyboard shortcut. Um, you're spending too long trying to find footage. You don't know where things are. Start building a library of stop media. Build a, a project file where things are filtered down. You know. <clears throat> I'm trying to be. I don't. I don't want to have like. What I think. What would be cool and a, and a good nod. I don't want it to be. I don't want the time travel aspect to be the biggest part about it. I want people to no one's going to click on a video about editing stuff if they see a TARDIS in the thumbnail you know the inside joke the inside joke shouldn't be on the thumbnail the stopwatch is okay the the watch is fine because it if you have a title like things to save you time you know it's a bit different does it need to be mistakes or tools? <coughs> I'm not going to put the watch on the table. The watch, okay. The watch has got nothing to do with it. The watch is, the time travel aspect is just the method for communication. It's not the point of the video. The point of the video is the mistakes. That's the thing. If you put inside jokes and thumbnails, you are making a big mistake. Do never, never, never 
Never put inside jokes on thumbnails. Do you want to know why? Because viewers, do, do, nobody click on that video will get what's going on until they click on it. Seven times saving tools to upgrade your editing. See, <clears throat> hmm. Tools can be mistakes with certain techniques. Yeah. But here's the question: Like, do I? Time-saving tools is the essence. Yeah, I know. I'm just, but I'm also. Okay, here's the thing, though. Here's the further. What's more clickable, mistakes or tools? What angle is more clickable? You say that, Brick King, but I guarantee you'd click on a video faster if somebody t was telling you you're making a mistake. Versus giving you a tool to make it. But are they mistakes or advanced te techniques? That's kind of what I'm trying to debate, like with the, you know, like with the reasoning. Is like I'm trying to like reason. I'm trying to provide a valid argument for using mistakes, but then also provide a valid argument for not using mistakes. You know. You got to think about what people are going to click on, not so much what is accurate. So this is why we do titles and thumbnails first, rather than intros first, right? So. <clears throat> let me um let me go to chat gpt because chat gpt will be very useful here because he can give me a good option <clears throat> what is the um current title that we want to go for which title do we like okay so let's pick a title that we like the most here so we'll couple time some techniques we'll do that so But then the intro is going to change then. So I spent over 10 years working hard to become the best viewer as I possibly can. And it's not been an easy task. I've made plenty of mistakes in that time. In fact, maybe I've made, I've learned plenty of things. I've learned plenty. Things in that time. And I show you some with this all right yes it's a pocket watch but it's not any old pocket watch by using it, i can travel to any point in time that i want and i'm going to use it to show you some of the some of the important things that i've learned maybe it's maybe that's better important things that i've learned as an editor and show you how you can prevent making some of the biggest mistakes prevent making some big mistakes some things that i've learned to help prevent mistakes <coughs> what are we thinking with that <clears throat> Let me, um, what title are we liking right now? Let me, um, there's a negative connotation. Here's the thing, Michael, negativity gets clicks. People are so hung up on the idea that it's just a negative idea. It's, that's what gets clicks. Go find me, go find me a video, right? that if any any title that talks about a deep emotion will get a click you're doing this wrong what am i doing wrong click right this is the difference between a youtuber that that, that knows the market versus that doesn't, doesn't know the market that's the thing and that's one of the big that's one of the big things that i see a lot of creators kind of not understanding is that it's and i mean this respectfully like it's you have to understand that negativity will get more attention then something that is true i don't say true but like more geared like i know creator for the likes titles that explain what's going on right i'm not going to use a title like that because that's not what i'm trying to do i'm not, I'm not i don't want to put seven tools to make you edit faster i'm never going to touch that title what i am going to do is seven maybe seven mistakes every editor does and how to fix them right 
because you're leaning into the emotional. The technical thing is fine, but when you're leaning, leaning into emotional, you react, you, 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 you engage a wider set of people. <coughs> Part of the reason the solutions, but the solution, I know, I, I get that. Yeah, I'm just trying to kind of make you guys understand that even if it's a positive title, makes sense, right? A positive title will work as well. But if we're leaning, if we're liking these, if we're liking these thumbnails, why are we having a positive title? That's the question. That's the question I want to ask you guys. Why are we leaning into these? Why are we leaning into these thumbnails? If we're having, if we're going to now change gears and have a positive title, I'd need to make completely new thumbnails because we're not, we're not connecting the same. We're not, we're not meeting at the same crossroads. Does that make sense? Thing is, Michael, if someone was saying to you in a video, here's seven mistakes editors make and how they can fix them, would you be more inclined to look at that video because it's like, oh, I wonder if I'm making these mistakes? Because you, because what, do you, what does that do? What have I instantly done with that title that's made you go, I wonder if I, I wonder if I, I wonder if I, I do this. There's one word. That it's created one word <clears throat> begin to the C. <coughs> anyone can answer that question by the way if anyone knows the answer to it what does a title like that do anyone has taken my thumbnail what program is that affinity photo curiosity yes if you've taken my thumbnail workshop you'll know that word Curiosity is is begun. It's like, whoa, am I am I doing this? Other day, drawn to tips and tools. I don't know yet. So maybe we um, maybe we lean into a little bit of both potentially. So maybe we do something like um, these tools will prevent mistakes in your editing, like that kind of thing, like. How to prevent mistakes as a video editor. How to prevent, you know, how to stop making mistakes as an editor. That kind of thing. Well, while it's a negative, like, it's 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 attacking the negative, but it's also providing a solution, a, a positive, you know, solution. Does that make sense? So we can probably lean into that. Fixing these five edit these mistakes, is editing mistakes, we say we type, I like that. Are we still leaning into the, um... <clears throat> I like that one, Shay. Are we still liking? Are we still leaning into the mistakes word though, the the verbiage? Because <coughs> yeah, I like it. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I was trying to do here. Like these mistakes are slowing you down. Like I was I was trying to find the right kind of thing, and you nailed it there, Shay. I was like. Trying to find the right track for it. I'm like, is this the right one? But yeah, fixing these editing mistakes. Oh, wait, 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 again. <coughs> editing blunders. So let me have a look at here. So. <laughs> editing mess. Editing. <laughs> editing. Oops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By using it, I can try at any point, and I'm going to show you how to use it. <coughs> anyway, well, I'm working on the title right now, as a matter of fact. Um, I like the... Uh, oops. Jersey, I've said three times what the program is. I'm using Notion and Affinity Photo. Please pay attention.
This is Affinity Photo. Affinity Photo. Affinity Photo. I think I'm just going to say it three times in case he's not hearing me. Affinity Photo. Notion. 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 There we go. I'm just going to do that for the third and fifth final time in the, in the, in the time that I've told him. <laughs> uh, I also want to organize it by... Well, descending. It's okay. I just, I've just, I've said it several times. Make it a clip here. <coughs> Are we liking mistakes though? Are, are they mistakes? That's the thing though. Like, so, so maybe we'll do a thing here. So we'll look at the, uh, let's look at the problem first. So the problem is, problem number one is, mistake number one is, the amount of un unorganized mess right solution is a program called post haste and project management right so that is the solution right that is the solution so number one which is post haste and organized mess. that's that that is the solution is it's project management so using bins so it's like using bins slash events um and folders like that fod foddlers folders it's okay just like it's fine i just i've like i feel like i want like a uh, with like a parrot <coughs> thing is though i'm not targeting search creative feather only 30 percent of views come from search you should always be targeting suggested and recommended vi uh, videos. Any, any, you can have keywords and titles and still get away with, oh, you know, um, or, or not have five thing or, or, or list. People like lists, don't get me wrong. But you can do list formats in a much more kind of creative way. You don't see Mr. Beast targeting search. You don't see other, other, other educational creators targeting search. You, you just don't. Once you reach a certain threshold, search becomes really, really weak to search to, to rank for. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, no. So, so seventy percent of views from YouTube come from um come from suggested, so browse homepage that kind of stuff. Seventy percent. So you're gonna make a title and a thumbnail that will get that initial. Whoa, okay, what's this about? Rather than having them search because that's where you lose it not targeting search meaning you're not making a title like how to do xyz like most people would recommend doing in fact if you're a starting youtuber i've changed my tune on that if you're a starting youtuber don't make guy content <laughs> start making content that's actually going to get on the home page <clears throat> on, on, on a title and thumbnail i should recommend i should change that i should i should correct that don't do a ton of thumbnails like how to do how to make how to bake bread right how to bake uh pumpernickel bread should be the best pumpernickel bread recipe i've ever tasted you know that's the difference that's the difference between that one is a how-to one both are how-to videos right just one of them's titled for a, a, a wider market. People are going to go, oh, I want to try this. Oh, I want to look for this. You see, I have never, I've never had pumpernickel bread, but I would click a recipe video. Or I'd, I'd watch a video that was like, that was called um, 48 hour bread recipe. 48 hour baked bread. I'm like, what the hell? I'm watching that. You know what I mean? Versus I baked this bread. How to bake bread in 48 hours. Not everyone's the same thing, you know. Oh yeah, so we search. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How to so people typing in how to bake pumpernickel bread will find the how to bake pumpernickel bread. People on Google will do that. But Pumpernickel bread is still a search term and people might go the one that's got the most views will be at the top And if you say the best pumpernickel recipe you can make 
versus how to bake pumpernickel bread. You're gonna go. You're gonna go from the one that says the best, aren't you? Your curiosity is gonna kick in and go. Oh, I'm gonna click on that one. <clears throat> Even if you do search it, that's why titles are optimized for people versus algorithms. All right. And, and, and I'll be honest with you, it's the fault of people. It's the fault of services like vidIQ and TubeBuddy that is, that used to be so search focused. They've changed the tune now, but they used to be so search focused that, that, and keyword based that they're like, I've got to SEO optimize my video till the till it, till it bleeds. You know. <coughs> yeah, I know, I know. I just realized I gotta I gotta do this myself. I gotta make a messy timeline. One like from the funny number, chat. Do it. If it goes above, if it goes above, if it goes above the funny number, I will I will I will ban the person. Come on. Who did it? Who did it? No reason for leaving so suddenly. <laughs> oh, that would wait. We've lost two. No, no, no. You know, he's coming. Okay, it's okay. There we go. Okay. No, it's back again. Okay. I see timeline, multi cams, and were you were you the person, Shay? Were you the person? There we go. It's back to back. Balance has been restored to the universe. No, it's a free app. It's a free app. Uh, the the free account is sorry. There's a free account and there's a paid version of it. It's, like, it's, a, it's subscription based. So, like, what's the what's the implication of having a messy timeline? Messy timeline can't find clips. Takes too long to work around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's organized mess? Again, can't find clips. It's it's uh, can't find clips. Take too long to um Thinking too low. Oh no. Well, we're past the point of no return there. Guys, hit the like button. Yeah, you're a higher funny number. Everyone, 420, do it. Um editing silence out of videos takes too long. Solution for that. Recut, who is the sponsor? Making custom graphics takes too long and doesn't and can have little to no impact on the final video unless it's custom stuff. Use templates or make your own to save time. <clears throat> Maybe that's what I do. Maybe that's what I do. Maybe the entire video is about saving time. Saving time. Save, yeah, so saving time by avoiding these mistakes. 
saving time save time editing by avoiding these mistakes yes 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 that's that's what it is save time by avoiding these mistakes save time editing by avoiding these mistakes 44 characters fucking beautiful title I use I use the naughty word there. Sorry, YouTube. I'll be taking that edit. I'll be editing that out of the video. <laughs> <coughs> Oops, the daisy. Freaking effing. Bah. I sound like a sheep then, didn't I? Bah. Silence of the lambs. okay <coughs> that is the golden winner right there i like that one is it in one bit that's fair enough i love it save time by save time editing by avoiding these mistakes now with that title which one? Oh, I have another idea, chat. I've had another idea. I've had another idea. I've had another idea. I've had, an, I've had another idea. I've had another idea. I've had another idea. Oh, no, that's my... Okay. The idea might work, but it might be seen as like a how to... Like... It might be seen as a different, like... Thing. But let me know what you guys think. In my head... It may, may not work as well. Right? Mm, it is bold. Go to the designer and edit this one in. <coughs> editing Dan. I'm sorry from Fiji. Love your work. I appreciate you. Do thank you so much for popping in. How, is, how are you? Uh, how's your day going? Oh. And then, how did I do that? Like it needs to be red. Hmm. I like blue. A spinning wheel too. Oh, good. The Mac one, the Mac spinning wheel. quite like that one I 
I quite like the red. Oh, yeah, the red shadow on the desk. Well, it might. We can probably keep that. Let me go a second. No, I'll change it to black. I know, but I'm trying to like save time. No, it was just an idea. You know. Editing time, maybe, maybe. I might swap these around, make this one darker. Make this one brighter. Still so okay, let's change it to like... I'm gonna try and red in a bit. Do you want a red button as well, maybe? Let me do this first. Oh, time wasted, actually. We're going to go. Oops. Oh, no way. Oh, my neck. Sorry, that chap. Rather a green button, save time. I don't know, like, there's a sense of, like, time's been wasted here, you know, like... I know, I know, I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm, I'll, I can fix that. I know there's a red shadow there. I'm just, I'm, I'm playing around with ideas at the minute, and I'm trying to... I may, I may keep it as a... I may keep the white one. There. So it's like a bit of a top light. I try to make three thumbnails for one video. Because then it covers me, my, my back. So these are like the original three up here. I'm now making a different video. So I've got three very, one variation here, one variation here. And I've got this one coming up. Cancel time loss. Oh, save to oh, so you mean. I 
fix. Fixing big like like that. I, I, I like the rounded. Yeah. He's in green. Let's fix or save. Come on now. It's not that bad. I'm worried about this button here though, to be fair. That's gonna be the hardest part to read because it's green and white. Hmm. A black outline could help, yeah, maybe. Oh, that's a very If not, I could do this. Hang on. Let's see how this looks first. It needs to be fixed in anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'm still going. You know, I have an idea, chat. What if I do? Oops. Bring this up here. Hmm. Yeah, okay, this isn't making sense here visually. Okay, hang on a minute. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. We've got to think of the uh, 
the thing here time wasted in this this line make no sense surely that's less time wasted in that context because it's a, a red bar very low So for me, that actually needs to be like I also kind of I also kind of want to do this Oops <coughs> Hold on Mm. There you go. <laughs> what a magic trick that was. Let me, uh... Playing with the this decade, say six decades. Well, I'm gonna be that old. Question is, should I put it here in front of my arm? Now I can go back into here and <coughs> turn on this one. Yeah, it's I don't know why three days, seventeen hours was like the specificity of that one, but Okay, but now we, we reach a snag now. Like, do we, are we, I don't think I want that. I don't think I want the, 
Maybe I'll center this in the middle. Where's the editing thing? Maybe okay. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna ooh, I'm gonna put you over here. There, child. We'll, we'll keep you there. Which are we looking at now? Looks best. <coughs> Thank you, Pickett. Oh my god. I'm not gonna lie to you, chat. I still prefer number three in this context. It just like the simplicity of it pulls my eye straight to it. Like if I like stream this down a little bit. Oops. Yes, it is a finished designer too. Yes, finished designer. Yes. <coughs> Let's pull the title in. Yeah, I don't think this one's working for me. It's just too much detail. Way too much detail. However, however, however. That feels a bit more. Time spent feels a little like I feel like I need a bit a better phrase, you know. <laughs> it doesn't include formal variations, or it does not. That's what it just was, Joe, and I feel like it's a little bit. I don't know. Time wasted. You know what I kind of want to do? I kind of want to do this. I don't know why. Oops. I feel like it just goes off the chart. That'll send a pretty big message. <coughs> Solve it. I 
I still think stop. Maybe stop. Because it feels like a process then in in like a That feels a little bit more stop. Like it, it, that that brings in that word that we wanted to, you know. <coughs> yeah. That that might work. Stop wasting time. Yeah. Do we want to have the, the graph flying off the edge? I don't think I do. I think I'm going to have it up to the up, nearly up to the bar, not nearly full. Like here. <coughs> like there, just like there. Number two in the last row. As well, curiosity for the title. As people who edit relate with the timeline, they can really pinpoint. Yeah, I know what you mean. Last year. That's kind of what I wanted. I think number two and number three. This is number so it is, this is so it does this. One, two, three. And then it's four five six sixty seven there we go no worries daniel i appreciate that a grading going from green to red i mean that might look mm, let's have a look well we'll we'll humor it I will humor your suggestion. Oops. <coughs> hmm. Is that a nice bit of color? True. Time spent then? I don't know. I like number five and I like number three, personally. That, that, that Those are my two favorites. Because number two, while it's good, doesn't show the problem. Doesn't show it. Number five and number three do. Save time editing by avoiding these mistakes. And I think th I think five for that title is pretty good. Wait, didn't I have a title called that? Do you want to already have a title like that? Hold on. Yep, back to it, that one goes. Um, we get more views by fixing these mistakes, it was. was. I'm a bit hesitant to name it that now. But it seems wrong, what Michael says. Hmm. Well, it's just, well, yeah, I know. But it's, it's, you can't really have stop with a green, can you? Like, that's kind of, the, that was my thinking. Do you want to have a stop with a, with, with a green button? You know? Put 2020 through the end of it. Yeah, I suppose it, it could do that.
Uh, let me just fix got you. We'll use fix for now. Two and four. You know what we're going to do? Chat GPT. Come to the rescue. Save us. Please. Our AI overlords. Keep it under 50 characters. That makes it easy. Um... Pretty bit. I'll check it out. Just bear in mind, there's a lot of people suggesting things right now, and so I want to, uh, like, make sure that we are aware of the phrase "too many cooks spoil the broth." <laughs> yeah, no, it's not done what I wanted to do. The Time Traveler's Guide to Video Editing. <laughs> Great title, but it's not what I want to do. Oh, what the fuck is that? What the frig is that about? What the frig is that about? Ugh. Ah, it's awesome. Our boy chat GPT. I know, imagine. But you ask future me what the thumbnail I should use. That would be a real help. Okay, we're gonna um We're going to do this chat. Alright. I'm going to hide the screen for a second. And what I would like us to do is to clear our minds of all and any situations that might have impacted us with those decisions. To clear your mind and breathe deep. To relax and calm yourselves down. And to relax. And then, after a certain period of time, at some point in the near future, I will bring back the program and ask you to make a snap decision on the thumbnail that you like. Outside of biases, if we can, please. Sam's Zen, yeah. My Zen garden. And avoid all biases. Try and uh, keep an open mind to other options. I know some people have been heavily suggesting stuff in this chat today, and that's okay. But I would like to uh, remind everyone that the video um, is important. The end thumbnail and title is important, regardless of whether or not it's been designed well or, not, or whether or not you had an inkling and it was your idea, yada, yada, yada. You know, put that put ego aside for a second and look at the thumbnails when they appear again and decide you know what that one actually did pop out more to me i like that one okay <clears throat> what i shall do is start a poll how many options can i add I can go to four options as a poll here, which is rather annoying. Um, what 
what's the old pole make? What was it called? Straw pole. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Okay. Are we ready? Right? Please make your decision. I don't know if that's the right link I sent you. It should be. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Mm. No, number 19, I think I'm too relaxed. <laughs> number 19 is not an option, I'm afraid, sir. You're fired from the from the from the focus group. So think about five is getting me in what way? In a good way or a bad way, Rock? I know people have I know people have met, are fed up with thumbnails with arrows and crosses. But here's the thing, guys, it gets clicks. In a good way. Alright. That's the only problem is it gets clicks. I like that one with the British guy on it. Well, that's a shame because I'm Australian. No, I'm kidding. I'm an Australian. I can't swear on national telly. I've seen like arrows and crosses, I know, but you may have to live with it, unfortunately. Yeah, but the only problem is it's very similar to another thumbnail that I've done in the past. I suppose that would work. I mean, Film Booth's done it. Three or five. I'm I'm kind of leaning that way as well. Two is in the lead by nine right now. Nine votes. <coughs> two just doesn't two, two just doesn't state a problem though. I don't think two is I don't think two oh number six. I shouldn't have added number six. Six was a blank. Um I don't think, yeah, six isn't, doesn't, sorry, two, two and one are the same in the sense they say everything and nothing at all. Um, okay, well, let's, let me export out. Let's just do this then real quick, right? So... We're seeing him in context here, right? This one two, and I want five. <coughs> I 
I think it's fine as readable. I think it's readable. There's nothing wrong with it. Two tells a story. Yeah, that's. I'm, I'm, I. I. Do you know what? Let's ask. Oh shit! I'm exporting all of them. That's not good. All the old ones. They're all being exported. They're all making their way through the the barrier. Okay. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna also go to this one. Momentum, you should be getting back. And this thing has lost momentum on a platform that has recommended videos. And there's another, there's another one as well. Whenever people say, "Oh, YouTube's too saturated," I like to call the big word because it isn't. How can how can a platform have saturated niches with a recommendation system? If 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 it was saturated, right? There'd be people complaining of too many views. Right. Create ML. Have I got enough credits? Oh, I do. Okay. Let's get back on the horse, James. You know, you know how it how it how it feels. There it is. Four speaks to me directly. Four does. Stop does. All right, we'll do stop as well. Yes. Which one do you think works better, James? What is that? What are you? What are you? Fuck off. I need to stop swearing. I keep forgetting this is YouTube. What titles do we like here, chat? Save some editing by avoiding these mistakes. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Oops. Generate similar video titles. Sorry, chat. Get rid of those two. Those, yeah. Tone of voice. Oh! Curious. Let's try that. Hmm. Don't make these mistakes. Don't make these editing mistakes. I like that one. Uh, we'll do education. <coughs> the, the duration is not really unsure yet. Rank and see which one does better, please. AI. The AI will tell me which one is the better one, and then we shall see. AI Oh number one 1. 1.3k predictive views interesting that's very low Really is that is that low I don't that's that's pretty low I 
I've had this problem before, actually. Oh, oh. Okay. So, there is a bug with Crater ML at the minute. It's actually under... Oh, Charles did tweet about it. He did tweet about it. Come on, Charles. What was it? What was it? What was the issue? This is, I think, the undervaluing them by Charles. That's the wrong Charles. He says they're undervaluing the. Um, the the new projectors are underpricing for, for the first twenty four hours by about three to four times. No, 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 no! It's 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 apparently it's under under. <clears throat> What's four times this number? So we're looking at around 5.56 thousand views. That's not too bad. Um, yeah. Make your thumbnails in MS Paint. Good job, dude. Good job. Proud of you. We'll do another 15 minutes chat, and then I'm going to wrap things up here. Because that'll be a... Uh, that'll be a... Four and a bit hour live stream. Yeah, my battery's nearly dead on my phone. Yeah, there's a bug right now with it. So let's try um Let's try dramatic titles. Dramatic. Give me a title. By the way, you see this little number here? This is four. That was my my suggestion for us to list how many titles we have. <coughs> nope. Um I'm gonna use Chat GPT for these ones, because it'd be easier. I still think my original title, which was, um, anything mistakes you're doing right now, let me just see where that ranks up. What about stop wasting time when editing videos? Try that. Rank them, baby. <coughs> Rank. Oh, no, we'll avoid these. Yep, the avoid these easy mistakes.
Coming out in time wasters. Hmm. I can't be a bit more dramatic. Pick it. I'll be honest with you. Oh, did did wait? What the hell happened there? One more, guys. Oh, you deleted the message. It was. It's disappeared. Hmm. I think it needs to work on a like, solid premise. What about like editing mistakes that cost me? That's editing mistakes that cost me time me make it about me rather than about them Is what I'm thinking of? It is you. What about like... Hmm... Editing mistakes that can cost you time. Oh, quite like that one. Editing mistakes that can cut that can. Um. Maybe I need more like Maybe I need to be less more about the tools and more about actual genuine mistakes. I think I might rework the the the, the actual tools part where there's a genuine mistakes that uh, can more so than cuz I like the idea that's like in my head I've got a tie so it's like editing mistakes that destroy your videos. That's a title that I think is really good. And I'd rather change the story to match the title than change the title to match the story. Um, because the story I can still improve. The, the content of the story still makes sense. It will still work. I'll still be showing any editing mistakes. I'll just use me as my, you know... <clears throat> I'll just use me as, as the vessel. I'll, I'll do the time travel thing, you know? Um, I'll still do that, but I, I'd like the idea of it being about wider editing mistakes that can hurt videos rather than and then introduce some tools that can help fix the problem as well it's like here's a mistake how to fix it here's a mistake here's how you fix it this video this mistake this mistake will destroy your video is that you can fix it and, and correct it before you you know like 10 editing so it's like editing mistakes to avoid you know Past me destroying my videos. I like that idea. I might use that in the actual video rather than the title.
<coughs> Am I addicted to editing? Probably. If you're like me. Oh, it was a title. Oh, okay, sorry. I thought it was a statement or a question. Rank, 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 rank. Oh, we have a new one. It's actually, what's this one saying here? I'm not gonna lie to you, uh, chat. I think that editing one is editing mistakes that destroy your videos. I think is the one that I want to use, regardless of where it ranks in the. And I feel like I know what I want to do. Editing mistakes that destroy your videos. And then I'd probably use number five. Yeah. I'm gonna have like a maybe like a a timeline that's like corrupted. I'll have to work on this tomorrow. I'm gonna wrap it up in a minute. I'm gonna have the rest of the night off because I'm still sick. Um, I like the idea though. I like. I think we've got some good progress. Um, <coughs> a timeline that's like snapped in half for like broken and like disintegrating, or maybe like the Thanos snap where like it's like a. Half of a timeline and the rest is just dissolving away. Maybe. I do like five and four. Five and four. <laughs> if it's like editing mistakes to destroy your videos, these are the three things here. I think that feels on point there. We'll see. I may A B test these, we'll see. Um I don't think I wanna I don't think I wanna do a view count. Whoops. I don't think I don't I wanna do a view thing going down. Or a subscriber thing going down. It's editing. People are gonna wanna see an editor. You know. Thing going on. Now it's in distress image, oh my gosh. Sure, let me get right on that AJ pickup. Yeah. I'll think about it. I'll stew on it for a little bit. I don't need an immediate uh, thumbnail right now because I still got to write the video. So I'd rather spend another day working on the title and thumbnail and get it fig figured out. I still like number three. I think for me it's three, five, four, then two, and then one. Three, five, four, two, one. That's very weird. But yeah. Anyway, chat. I'm gonna go in there and get myself. Um, healed up. I'm all right. I'm doing right now exploring Canada. But thank you so much for the uh, for the for the for the well wishes. Chat. I want to love and leave you. I'm gonna go and uh, wrap uh, wrap things up now. It's four thirty. I'm gonna go and uh, rest <coughs> and recover. And I'll see you all at the end of the month for the uh, channel review stream um, for channel members. So if you're a Twi uh, YouTube channel member, tier two, you can submit your channel. I actually need to wrap that up now. So if you haven't submitted your channel by this Wednesday, then you'll have to wait a month. 
sorry it is what it is but guys thank you all so much for hanging out to me today i do appreciate you all and um yeah i guess i'll see you all next time have a good rest of your week until i see you next time take care and bye bye